Hello friends, farmers, and fellow adventurers, and welcome to the HodgePodge Tavern. I'm your DM Carl, and today we're stepping through the portal to the Infinite Plains. Let's discover our forgotten memories. Mm. Alongside you we have our players. Hello, I'm Philippe and I play D the Wizard. I'm Alex and I play Sprite, uh, Fairy Paladin. I'm Kyle, I play Spike, the monk. The bladeling monk. Beautiful as ever. It's very cool. It's not focusing, but it will. One day. Mm -hmm. By sheer by sheer force it's of will. Far away, I can bring it closer. Oh, that's, if that's the point of the. <laughs> by sheer force of will. He's only ever in soft focus. He looks the best that way. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like, oh. oh. 1940s Hollywood style. It. <laughs> With a, a, a wind machine yeah, gently yeah. just. He covers the low budget. <laughs> uh, I'm Josh. I play Link the Bard. I was going to say monk. Sure but about that? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say monk for some reason. Surrounded by monks. Everyone's monk. I mean, you can take a level of monk. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I don't have the self discipline for it, I don't think. He does. Hi, I'm Kim, she, her, and I play Brady. They go by they, them. Um, they are a changeling monk, currently in masculine form. Yeah, masculine Brady form. Yes. Excellent. So, in our previous session, uh, everyone arrived, with the exception of Dee, at the Bardic College Mosaic Deum Collies. And uh, they met a lovely receptionist uh, by the name of... Uh, I think his name is Reception. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Motivation, maybe. And yeah, it was another Madron, wasn't it? It was another Madron. I've been having a lot of seeing a lot of Madrons. You've just gone to all the places that I'd written mod ones in. Mod one, mod one. Where the group uh, questioned to try and find out information as to where uh, ex students may have been. Uh, the group then split into two from there. One group going to the cafeteria to try and talk to the other students, and two that went to find the teacher uh, that was seen in. Link's sensory stone. Uh, the group that went to the cafeteria found out some uh, pertinent information. It would appear that uh, Link passed uh, uh, by passing out into his yeah. morning porridge. Yeah. <laughs> Very undignified. Very undignified. Um, and that shortly after then, a, another student disappeared. They, they left, right? They left, yes. Yeah. Um, but didn't tell anyone about that. The Sigillian party of D <laughs> uh, went through all of their judicial processes, was found to be... Uh, not guilty. Not guilty. And no reason insanity. proceeded to... <laughs> A couple of other tasks. You went up and met with Zadara, um, where they found out that Zadara was the reason why things did not go through the official channels, um, and was tasked with going to uh, meet Yalem, uh, at which they did, uh, which was a very fun conversation. <laughs> That's right. Uh, to confusing conversation. Very confusing. Yeah. It was very fun. Very. <laughs> it was fun for me. Um, <laughs> Uh, was handed a scroll of Unseen Servant, was told to cast from the scroll in a place where it would not be castable normally. Hmm. And went and did some research in regards to the book that they were trying to find, and uh, found out that there is an individual by the name of He Who Is in the Outlands in a walking castle uh, that has a copy of it. Uh, further research, uh, which was done out of session, uh, indicates that there is a second copy that is residing in the Tower of the Arcanalofts, or that is believed to be its last known location, which is on the second layer of Gehenna. Okay. Um, and our session ended with mm. the teachers proclaiming that they buried me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Due to a contract. Seems to be a, a common occurrence here. <laughs> People yeah. getting buried. Specifically in Bytopia. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll start off in the class. Um, so the 
uh, robed teacher, uh, which you now know the name of from the reception as Dwarf, Dwarf. Uh, has a very stunned look upon his face. I'll just smile. Hey, Teach, you miss me? I would say that. <coughs> sorry. I would say that I did. What are you doing here? I thought. No, you can't be here. Who are you? It's me. In the flesh. I'm here for my encore. Now, I do have a few questions. Yeah, I have a few questions too. We'll get to those. Porridge? Yeah? Was that ever looked into? Yeah. And the conclusions were? Foul play suspected. Good. Well, I wouldn't want to die without at least a little bit of drama. <laughs> um, who were the suspects? Well, I don't know. I can't tell you that until I identify you myself. Okay. Ask away. What do you want to know? How can I prove myself? Well, first of all, let me uh, come over here. I'll walk over. Sit down there. I'll sit down. And, and I'll, uh, I'll just like put my, my leg up. I'll lean back on the chair. <coughs> put my feet up on the on the table. And uh, you see that they begin uh, casting a spell. Uh, it's called identify. <laughs> identify undead. It's uh, detect magic. Identify link. You've, you've seen it cast a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you, you can identify that it's detect magic. I am an open book. It says, you seem to have some alteration magic coming on around you here. Well, I uh, picked up a few items along the way. But, the rest of me. I will kindly ask that you remove these garments. I'll take off my cloak. I'll, I suppose the, um, the things that you've given me would probably have a, a magical aura mm -hmm. to them. Uh, yes, they technically would. Okay, yeah. I'd just take off those as well, put them like sort of on a chair beside me. It's like airport security. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to pat would. me down. <laughs> You've been selected for additional... Uh... Can't be searched. <laughs> Bend over, spread your what legs is, and cough with me. What is go. weird is like, this is your teacher asking you to basically strip in his yeah. classroom. We are going vibes. straight to the Dean after this. <laughs> straight to the Dean. Straight to the Dean. <laughs> straight to the Dean. Oh, oh. I've already been there. Oh. All right. So um, you you say, yeah. <laughs> Every, everything magical off. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put all that to the side. You um, just want to rob you blind. <laughs> I'm still wearing normal uh, clothes. This is mine. Run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's just to make sure that you've not got any things that are changing your appearance. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is what he's trying to identify here. <clears throat> and uh, so it gives you the once over. What do you think? Pure, one hundred percent unadulterated. Yeah, you always were. Yeah, exactly. Ah, you can put them back on. Thank you. Oh. Exactly. So. I've had a bit of a... Interesting, let's say, couple of months. I can say you certainly did. Yeah. Uh, I did somewhat lose a few of my core memories, although I, I did manage to recall this place. Um... Can you tell me, what was I like when I was here? Well, when you first came here, you were bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, you could learn. Quickly found yourself to be in a little bit of an arrogant shit. Well, you know. On brand, with greatness comes a price. It's fine, we get used to dealing with that kind of sorts around here. You know, everyone thinks they're the next big thing. Someone's That's why they come here. Yeah. To be the next big thing. And my studies. I was in creation, wasn't I? That was my focus. You rather were. It's my speciality. Yeah. I saw that. I saw we were in limbo. Yeah? One of our field trips. Interesting. What was I doing? <coughs> well, we all take everyone out there to do some chaos shaping. When you create things, you pull things out of nothingness. This is a place that is purely made out of material that can be manipulated. You're not creating something out of nothing. You're creating something out of something. Out of potential. Exactly. Right. 
can that be done outside of limbo? Not particularly, not unless you have some of the uh, limbo juice, as they call it. Do you have any limbo juice? Not on me, no. No, that's a shame. We got some in the storage cupboard, but. Okay. I ain't giving you none of that. That's for class use. No, of course. I And it's very important that these students get the, um, the help that they need. Uh, anyway, uh, so, back to the untimely death. Um, so who are, the, who are the suspects? I heard that someone went missing after, or like, ran away after I was... Yeah, done in. that's who we in. work and done, did it? A person by the name of Nix. Nix Alberati. Yeah. Interesting. An associate of mine, from what I hear? Yeah, spent some time together, yeah. And they were just never seen again? Well. Any anyone know where they went? After all the immediate confusion uh, kicked off, we managed to track them down. The last known place was in Avernus. Avernus? Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. Then uh, we tried to track him again. None. Zip. We suspect they must have come across a ring of non-detection. Hmm. This is somewhat troubling. Uh, Ewan and Isaac, they still here at the college? Yeah. Do you... Where would they where would they be? They they must be sort of I don't know what like fifth year students, fourth year students, something like that. Yeah. Where where do the the senior students tend to hang out? Well, they either be in one of their other classes or they were hanging out in the dormitory or the cafeteria. Interesting. Alright. I'll have to make a note of that. Yeah. You coming here to return to your studies? Oh, I think I've found a much better... Um, possibly. How far off graduating was I? About not a year or so. Yeah, that's... You know, probably not. Um, I'll tell you what. Is there any way that we could fast track this... Uh, learning. Well, you said you lost half of your core memories. <laughs> you say that, however, and I will just and I'll create a, um, a statue of him um, like you know, in a sort of slightly unflattering kind of like grumpy teacher kind of pose. Um, <laughs> but, however, all of my skills I seem to have uh, managed to get back. Although saying that, I'm not sure exactly the level that I was at before I lost my memories. I mean, you were able to do that. You were able to do some chaos shaping. Yeah. Interesting. But you'd also have to sit the practical and the, also the theoretical exams. Right. Uh, You're going to turn this into high school anime. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Musical magical school. <laughs> So I suppose I should probably try and find Ewan and Isaac. Um, anything else I should know? I mean... I don't know what you don't know. Where are you buried? Yeah, where am I buried? That's probably a good point. We, uh... Had to go and find the place a little ways out. We don't have a arm board cemetery. Next town over. What's the next town over? And uh, that was sort of point uh, to the north. So you sort of arrived from the southeast. They'll point directly to the north. Mm. Uh, the main town of Prosperity. Right, okay. And that's not far, is it? That's. Say, a couple hour walk? Yeah, fair enough. I can get there in a the day. Um, right. You're going to be here? You're going to be around the college? Well, yeah, I work here. Well, yeah, I'm just wondering... I live if, here. Wondering this if is my life. If you're about to uh, take a long service leave, is more, more what I was asking. Um, Not in the middle of the college, yeah. Well, you never know. 
Strange. You really did take a couple of hits to that head there. Lose some of them there memories. If you've been through what I've been through, you would understand that stranger things have happened. Well, I've been through plenty of things. Uh, I'll come and find you if I have any more questions. How about that? Yeah, I'm sure you will. I'm sure I will. Well, lovely to see you again. And Can't say you. it's been the same, but... Uh... Oh, don't say that. You love me. Where would you be without your favourite student? I say as I begin to walk out. I don't know. Where is Janet? Janet. <laughs> oh, Janet. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> Alright. Well. Oh. And I assume that I can still bunk here, right? <laughs> You'd have to take that up with accommodation. Your room has been filled. Is there anywhere for, like, visitors? You have a... I Again, guess... you have to take that up with accommodation. I am a teacher here. Do you think I deal with that mean old administration stuff? I don't know. You obviously have plenty of time on your hands. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> Such a fool. <laughs> Alright, and I'll, I'll head off. We're in a school full of these people. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm probably so only, scary. like... 75% the most <laughs> annoying people person here. There are some that are worse, without doubt. Um, from there, we'll uh, quickly hop over to Sigurd. D, what are you planning on doing with uh, this day? Relaxing. Just chilling. Yeah, Relaxing. where are you going to head to? Just back to the same end. Let me do some spell work. And, and that's it. And I'll keep these guys appraised on, on what's going on on my side of things th through sending. Say if you don't need me there, I shall be here. Okay. Um, when you say spell stuff, you're going to be crafting, you're going to be mis copying. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to copy the rest of the spells that I have to copy. And, and okay. I may go to a shop and see if I can find one or two extra. Okay. Um, I'll say that you can find pretty much any first level spell straight up in the library that exists for the Fraternity of Order. Nice. Um, anything else, we'll roll to see if they have it. We'll do some rolls later on if you want. Okay. So, uh, heading back, I believe that Sprite was going to go do some stuff. Yeah. Uh, what, are, what are you planning on doing for your leveling up for the rest of the day? Um, how, how do you envisage that taking place? I kind of envisage it like a little bit of meditation, a little bit of communing with me like you, mm -hmm. and a little bit of maybe going out and like finding strangers to convert, like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Impressionable college kids. Yeah. You're going to be that Some person on campus. That's <laughs> hey, it's not a cult. It's you like heard about the word Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, I'm Yeah. Yeah, that he doesn't What's care what you smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, you used to hang around and like, carry a sign saying you're all damned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to be like supporting them. I'm going to be like their cool auntie that they're like on their <laughs> home from home, you know? You're going to set up like a hey, little booth. Kids. Hey, kids. <laughs> yeah, cup? maybe I can like try and find some. It's you real cool. To, you only have to give us M all your money and leave it's all like your friends that, and family um, behind. Yeah. That picture of that guy that's like just chilling in front of the like little table and it's like. Me and Licky is the one true drop god. Try convince me otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about trying to procure some like snacks. And lure them in with snacks. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna that try and buy or you're gonna try and yeah, make yeah, yeah, that would actually work. I don't know where I'd be able to make them because I don't really have any facilities like we I mean just no, there's a cafeteria here. We can see if you can convince the dinner ladies to <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a divine mission, can't you like just go outside into the forest and just be like me Licky provide that's not how it works, like. Your, yeah. <laughs> I thought that's that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> you don't just like. It's not like a genie, you know. You don't just get whatever you want when you want it. Then why do it? What? <laughs> Have you seen the baddest things I've been able to do? I guess, but like. Remember the direwolves? Yeah, it's a lot of. I mean, I made one of those, so it's not like you didn't well, do everything. Technically, the damage perish. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> can I 
Uh, what are you wearing right now? I would appreciate your left arm. the um, workhorse <laughs> monk yeah. that's just like I was trying to give you work. credit well, before you interrupted. That's the way you can you can attract them. Yeah. Exactly. Boom. Nice. Have an elk. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will just conjure some animals, but yeah. I'm not sure what they're going to come out as. Don't say what it is before it comes out. There's <laughs> <laughs> a very good chance you'll be wrong. Yeah. Like Here it is. An elk. Oh, no, that's so a weasel. bad joke. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Um, I, yeah, maybe I will go and like speak to the canteen, like. Before. Okay. Uh, roll me a persuasion check. We'll see if you can convince them to let you uh, use the facility. Spike, are you aiding with this as normal, or are you following? Uh, I am I also going that. to level up. Um, Sixteen. Okay. And 16. so I will take this moment to after Link has gone, because I was in that classroom the entire time. Um, <laughs> yeah. You were like hanging at the back. Yeah, I was yeah. hanging at the back, 16. and I'm just just gonna like. <laughs> I'm just going to ask the, I'm going to engage the teacher as if nothing groundbreaking has happened in the last five minutes of his life <laughs> um, about um, where like the creative, um, creative design, I guess, like art design people would uh, go to, to. Visual arts rather than the performing arts. The craft arts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or the craft. Yeah, but... Um, the art supply room. Yeah, the <laughs> art supply. And um, I'm going to try and see if I can, you know, take this moment in this uh, very artsy college to see if I can learn anything that would improve my woodworking okay. uh, and or calligraphy to make it more artsy. Um, the College of Law um, and Eloquence, which is in the central building um, where we have the reception, uh, that is probably going to be the best place if you're working on your calligraphy stuff. Um, in terms of your woodworking stuff, it's probably in the creation. Um, the fundamental first year class is uh, learning about the properties of matter and material, um, and learning how to sort of manipulate the existing woods so you can make a form or shape out of it. And then as it develops throughout the years, you then start conjuring and manipulating physical matter to like magically so i would say yeah your first year creation would work for your woodworking yeah okay um, gotta go to that lecture and if you didn't that's what i'm gonna do yeah there'll there'll be classes going on you can probably sit in on a first year class um and a practical class let's say yeah and work on that whichever one whether you want to do your calligraphy which will be in the law or if you want to do your woodworking which will be in the creation so i think I'll go with calligraphy. Calligraphy? That'll be in the central building now. Cool. Um, okay. And you'll sit in on a, a lecture on... Uh, Typography. Basically. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I knew you were going to struggle for that word for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that is the art. Perfect. So you'll be off doing that for the day. Uh, Sprite, uh, with your 23, you're able to convince the cafeteria to allow you to do some baking. Yay. Um and they haven't had much opportunity to make like big fancy treats in a while, so some of them will aid you in your uh, in your baking. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun! And I'll <laughs> tell you all about me, Licky, while we're working. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to roll me, roll me a religion check, and we'll determine if and how many college students during this uh, you'll be able to sort of convert. Oh, not many. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Uh, we'll say you managed to get two kids to sign up. Um, caught them unawares. <laughs> you caught them unawares. Uh, one of them is like a very nervous, shy person. You Aww. kind of uh, go up to them and give them cookies, and basically they latch onto you because you're like the first person that's nice to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. I, I know it's quality, not quantity. You know? <laughs> Actually, that's totally wrong. It's totally quantity. <laughs> In this particular instance, Tell yes. Tell your friends. Oh, you don't have any. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'll spend some Harsh. time then, like, with this person, Harsh. like, building their confidence up and, okay. like, getting to know them a bit and finding out why they're so nervous and seeing if I can empower them. Yeah. You know, like, now that they're, like, a, you know, a believer in me, like, you. It's some like, confidence. You, just rubbing off some confidence Seems on them. Seems a little bit culty to go <laughs> vulnerable, <laughs> depressed. <laughs> Not no, confident a child. <laughs> this, is yeah. a perfect, this is a perfect place because all you have to. There's so many people that it's just like they're constantly beating each other down. All you have to do is like be that actual. This is a college. Like, 
decent person. Yeah, but it's a college full of assholes. It's yeah. a college full of asshole bards. And yes. yeah. I think this person needs some The top of the assholes. Yeah. 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 Just assholes, and then there's asshole bards. You know, it's easy to become drowned out by louder voices than your own. And that will be... And I think actually it's right. We're almost like stop her mission just to help this kid like which gives you even more god points because you've been <laughs> even more goody two shoes i'm not being goody two shoes i'm abandoning my That's my leveling I mean. <laughs> I'm and by doing that you level harder <laughs> yep Hey, if you want to yeah. put ideas in his head, that's fine. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, man, when you're good, it's good, baby. <laughs> Jealousy doesn't see you. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I'm not familiar with the sound, so. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, both, both of them will count in terms of allowing you to level up, because that will be your task for the day. So, oh, that awesome. leads us to Link and Brady. What are your plans for the day? I think I'm just hanging out in that cafeteria, man. I'm. This is interesting. I enjoy the atmosphere. I think it's weird seeing all these very like starlit type people in one place, um, and it explains a lot about my I can now reveal crush. Um, <laughs> no. Which I think what nobody guessed that. No. Nobody guessed it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I think Brady is hanging out, and I think they're taking ideas for future personas. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. just gathering like face shapes, nose shapes, horn colors, skin tones, eye like shapes, mm -hmm. um, body types, just everything, and like mannerisms and accents. And I'm just gonna spend the afternoon in the cafeteria just. Drinking casually, not like getting drunk, yep. just drinking to enjoy and watching. Day drinking. Day just drinking. like, but just like the casual, you know, like the mimosa in the afternoon kind yeah. of vibes, not the like tequila. You'll, shots. you'll nurse it for like an hour. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I've got like a water chaser or whatever <clears throat> with it. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm just around. I just let everyone know that like I'm here if you need me. Okay. Um, just chill it. Maybe I'll play my looty thing for a bit in a while but I think it's more interesting watching everyone else that's fair um, you get a, a wide variety of different characters and personalities uh, different uh, races of creatures um, not all of them humanoid okay cool there are a couple of other um, individuals uh, there is a, a slard which is a large toad-like creature Okay. Um, this Still one. four limbs, right? Still four limbs. Okay. Um, but it's quite large and the whole body is very toad like. Okay, so I wouldn't necessarily be able to turn into one of them. I mean, you can take the aesthetic of them. But, like, I can't get as big and. You can't get as big as them. Okay. You can be, like, a small one. Okay, cool. Um, but, yeah, lots of different weird and wacky races are all conglomerated here. Um, and all of them are, are fairly similar, you know, they're all there for one reason or another to mm -hmm. uh, become better performers. Um, I'll say there's a couple of shy ones, again, floating around. Mm -hmm. um, people who are a little bit out of their depth, maybe, you know, they fall Went out. from a big fish in a small pond to small fish, big pond. Exactly, yeah. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I went to uni art school in London. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's almost like being back. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, Link, what is your, your plan now? I'll find the accommodations, mm -hmm. um, and we don't have to roleplay or anything, and just find a place that I assume if my room is taken, then just like what would be guest accommodation kind of thing. Yeah, um, there's a couple of rooms that Five people use sure. for like if parents come to visit yeah. uh, their kids and stuff like <coughs> that. So there's, there's a couple of rooms, and you will be able to get accommodation. Cool. I'll book enough for the five of us. Um, um, and then I think I'm just going to spend the rest of the day. I want to, I want to try and level up, um, and so just spend the time like walking the grounds and like not like talking to people occasionally, but just like soak it in a bit and just feel like what it was like to be me back then. Yep. And like just try to ground myself in like you know what my student days were. Mm -hmm. 
Electra was only about six months ago. Three Are you going to sit in on any lectures or anything like that? Yeah, I'll probably like pop in. I'll like I'll just walk past rooms and like listen in, and if anything is, is sort of interesting to me, I'll I'll pop in and just like sit at the back and, and listen in. Okay. I'm not trying to be too specific about anything. Just trying to get like a general kind of okay. overview. Um, I'll say. You're able to sit in on a lesson of chaos shaping. Nice. Yep, that would definitely interest me. Um, and it will unlock a proficiency that you had Ooh. in chaos shaping as a skill. It's an intelligence-based skill. Yep, damn. Uh, so if you make a note of it, uh, you have a proficiency in that. Proficiency in chaos shaping. You still have things to unlock? Yeah, there are there three skills that... Uh, our additional ones in there. You've got portal sense and I can't remember what the other one is off the top of my head. Um, but chaos shaping is one of them. Nice. Okay. Uh, but I can't really do much with that unless I have the limbo juice. Unless you have the limbo juice. But if you have a go-to limbo, it's all juice. It's all juice. Yes. Yeah. The entirety of uh, the plane is made up of this essence. You are basically floating through this sort of like viscous substance of this like Gloop. existence Ew. basically yeah um, and, and it's made up of every element it's got like uh, earth molecules water mm. molecules air molecules like, everything it's just yeah. like in this one huge mess yeah um, and that's what you'll be f handling and experiencing during this class um, you just have like a little ball probably about that big mm. and really really small like a marble um, sort of thing. Basically like a marble worth yeah. of this stuff and you're able to shape it uh, and manipulate it into objects. If you think of something, it will take that shape. Obviously with the small amount you have, you are limited to the size. Yeah. Um, but that is essentially how it works. You are able to force this into a substance and then you concentrate on it. I think I can solve this juice. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the heist. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, you I'm gonna make a note of like where the story is and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's at the case. bottom of the class. Because yeah. there's only the creation classes that that need it. Yeah, that need it. Yeah. yeah cool. uh, and <coughs> as it gets uh, taken out and distributed, uh, you do notice that it is in um, basically similar to like the jar that uh, your stepfather was stored in, mm -hmm. in terms of like elaborateness of this thing and size, um, it is stored within that. Uh, you get the impression that uh, it is magically sealed. Storing and maintaining this stuff outside of Limbo itself is difficult. Yeah. Um, you need specifically designed uh, storage containers in order to stop it from just dissipating into the world. Yeah. Uh, it's essentially like a kind of like a bag of holding but a specific yeah. bag of holding yeah uh, that's what that contains it cool alright and it there's no oh, so how big is this thing is like it's, quite it's large yeah okay so not the sort of thing I carry around is there are there like smaller vessels for you know um, like to move it around not particularly they essentially what they do is that they drag it out uh, like a piece of it out um, and they're sort of handing it to each student um, and then once it's done it does just dissipate after like an hour or two mm. of being outside of this container cool all right good to know um, you might be able to manufacture another container it would take time and effort and energies but you could potentially make something smaller they just have these large ones for ease it means that they only have to travel out once yeah collect yeah. the stuff store it and cool. bring it back I'm gonna think about that I'm gonna think like yeah see if I can find some something in the library maybe that has information on how to store it and things like that okay well, like I assume the classroom has its own specific like texts and things on occasion yeah each wing has its own mini library that's yeah. accommodated so I'll, to yeah I'll go to that cool. about the storage of chaos shaping excellent <coughs> okay oh, sorry, um, we'll count that as the rest of the day then uh, if that's what everyone's yep. doing yep. Um, so we'll just move that through so everyone that was doing any level up actions that will have uh, completed mm. not me, not yet not that was six. soon 
Level six. Oh shit, you're level six. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, we're all level six. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Charles, you are. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just me. Oh, Still level four. No. So level five. We're all level five now. We're all. No. Wait, level six? I've only just. He's just joking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys. I don't are know what. Slow. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sorry. Um, cool. Sorry, Do you want to go again? Huh? Do you want to go solo again? <laughs> oh, six. <laughs> yeah, bye, bitches. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you wake up uh, the next day. Um, so, I'll let them oh, finish up that. Oh, we woke up. Never know when we can get stabbed during the night. Oh, D, um, what is your uh, plan for the day? I just, like I said, I'm just going to go look for books, look for spells. Transcribe. Okay. Um, yeah. If you look for any first level, they'll have it at the. Uh, I, I chose three different ones, uh, and then I'll look for level twos and, and threes if possible. Well, my ro rolling, of course. Okay. Uh, first of all, roll me a two d twenty, and we'll see if anything happens when you're traveling to and from the mug, 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 mug. Yes. A fourteen and a three. I'm losing my carpaccio. That's 17. Oh, that's just mug, mug central. Put a sound on it. <laughs> it's like an electric car to make sure that it, I don't run anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you put like the piece of cardboard in the bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Against the wheel. <laughs> uh, as you are traveling around, uh, you see that there is a very large. Um, uh, so you, as you travel through the ladies' ward, uh, you see that there's quite a large estate uh, that is currently for sale for 70,000 gold pieces. 70? Oh, okay. okay. Uh, quite, quite a sizable estate with uh, grounds as well as building. Okay, I'll need to bring this to the attention of my uh, financiers. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. Cool. I, okay. I make a mental note. Do they pay? Do they take payment in adventurer deeds? <laughs> <laughs> in uh, <coughs> promissory notes of treasure, yeah. you get fifteen percent of our loot over seventy years. <laughs> I, I will not take that deal. <laughs> <laughs> I just made like two and a half thousand in a couple of months. <coughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not taking that. Um, so. Uh, the rest of the individuals that are residing in Bytopia, uh, we'll start with uh, Brady. What, what's Brady's plan for the day? Uh, are we? Did we all hang out in the same dormitory? Yeah, you would have the same sort of or yeah. adjacent yeah. rooms. Uh, what are y'all getting up to today? Because I don't have any particular plans. I was sufficiently distracted yesterday, but now that my head has been cleared, I feel like Mr. What is your name? Atal. <laughs> Mr. Atal here should probably find out at least where he's buried. Oh yeah, uh, so I'm over in Prosperity. But are we in Prosperity? Oh, we're sort of like in the bit outside of that. It's like a... Oh, a university an town. An hour that yeah. way. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, who wants to dig up a corpse? Yeah. I mean, it would answer a lot of questions that we had about my body if we could dig up your body, and then we would know, and then we might not even need to go to the other side. True. It would be interesting. Too. Cool. You in? <laughs> What's wrong with your nostril there, Sprat? Oh, it just smells like really nice. Oh. Is this one of those cookies you baked yesterday? Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. Morning. I think I'm my oil. Putting my oil. Oiling his. Oiling his fight. Cross, <laughs> cross <laughs> campaign, <laughs> cross universe. Did <laughs> yeah. you get a new flavor of oil? I found this in someone's room. I stole it. I'm not that nice. Checks out. Mystery okay. oil. Mystery oil. There's a really smelly bard up there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Uh, it's the. Uh, Perfume stuff that uh, another tiefling's using to decide their scent. <laughs> yeah. I so I think I'm digging up a body today. Everyone happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, but first of all, I'm gonna see what animal comes out of my. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, you bring one out. You bring all three out. No, just one. Now, can I borrow okay. a D8? 
Well, yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, <coughs> on the list here. Oh dear. Oh, no. It's, <laughs> definitely not, it's definitely not a dire wall. Oh no. no so it's it's, dire it's a giant a elk. Wait, <laughs> 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 wait. Where are we? Uh, are we, we in the door? We're in the door, yeah. There's, there's no way a giant elk fits through the door. Really? Oh but, no, I've been like, stuck it's, in the room! It's uh, antlers it's are so big. A giant, a giant elk is probably about... It's size large, right? Uh, yeah, it's huge. It would like. Antlers, there's no way the antlers getting through a door yeah. like that. I don't. It would be like. It's, it's about in twenty room. feet by twenty feet. Yeah. Okay. I don't in, think. In it covers given the space, size yeah. of the room, I don't think I would take the risk. Like. Uh, Jumping out the window. I think, <laughs> maybe you should I think roll. Maybe you should roll to see. Yeah, whether or not you thought about. Because I, I, I heard. No I didn't even know that we were in the room when I did the roll. <laughs> Where did you think we were? I don't know. Just like we ready to go all day. I don't know. We can say as we roll for it if you want me to roll. No, no, no. As we're wandering out. Whatever you think. Yeah. I didn't imagine us in a because it could have like yeah. Hey, with wolf. my previous yeah. history, it could have been easily a die wall. Yeah. So I wasn't really. Chuck it at the reception. I'll roll though. <laughs> no, no, no. Probably don't want to use any animals in here. So I'm like, find them, find them smelly. Oh no. <laughs> uh, we can ride it. Oh yeah. wow! Oh, Isn't four it people can ride beautiful? It. Uh, so tall. Hello. Clop clop <laughs> clop clop. Can we get a picture of it? It's like huge and white. <laughs> it's a picture of a giant elk. It's like one of those, uh, what are they called? Those massive ones in Canada? Moose. Oh, it's Moose. bigger than that. Moose is <laughs> much yeah, bigger that's what I'm that. saying. Like, imagine that figure. There's a, dark, yeah. there's a giant elk skeleton this in This thing the is about the size of a tree. Oh, okay. oh my god! It's I think I've seen that, yeah. It's so, any hope of doing anything like subtly today? Uh, Irish elk. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. 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 No, this thing is about the size of a tree, height wise. In terms of width-wise uh, and length-wise, it's probably about half to three quarters of a tree length-wise and yeah. about half a tree wide. Like Can I ask bus. it to um, like <laughs> bow its head? Uh, yeah, it will bow its head. It, it follows all of your commands. It's supposed to obey me, right? As long as I don't mistreat it, I guess. It's good uh, like, distraction, though, if you want to do something. Yeah, we could send Can it I off like, to do something. Can I like, get it to bow its head? I'm going to climb up onto its neck and onto its kind of like... Withers. I don't Scruff. know what you call it on an elk, but um, and then just take like a little. Are we on the quad or something? Like, <laughs> just do like a little. <laughs> so just circumference of the. Well, I, I realize I, the quad is not a circumference. Are but. you gonna like Lady Gaga? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be naked. <laughs> you cannot just, straddle. You know, like maybe just just not stra- so like straddle. Like a dragon. Like you can sit. You know. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Like on the neck Why are you always finding problems with I'm not. Problems? I'm just imagining. Just trying to picture it, yeah. <laughs> yeah the tiniest little thing. Just trying to picture it. Yeah, but if I'm so tiny, surely that I can sit on and hold its fur. Picnic. You can That's have a, a good picnic. idea. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Cup. You can definitely ride it. Bye. You're not, you're not here. Shut up. <laughs> um, I'm, always, I'm, I'm just going to do always there. a little laugh. <laughs> I prefer it. Um, and like just try and catch the eye of like maybe if those people are around that I converted the day before. <laughs> like a little. Just a little. You two can be like me. Yeah. <laughs> you two can have an elk. Like, like, you want really, some of this? Really casual, just like. Morning. So like throwing gold. Yeah. Just throwing acorns. Yeah, maybe I'll use the druid craft to just like kind of as I go past like send some blossom petals. That's oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Punch! Yep. Punch guy. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. You hear a, uh, a kid that's from a prime material plane say, <gasps> A new king has been born! <laughs> <laughs> I, must, I must write to my parents to find out who our new ruler is. Oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> uh, well, that didn't go, you know, quite as planned, <laughs> but hey. I'm an it optimist. didn't go terribly bad. I mean, yeah. I've had worse days. Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty. How fast? Pretty what's cool. its walking speed? Uh, sixty feet. <laughs> it's so much better. Does anybody need a ride? Yeah, I'll take yeah. a ride. We... You'll all be able to fit. Yeah. Oh I'm like, Thank you again for this amazing gift. <laughs> we can all fit on this thing. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. It's like, it is about 20 feet by 20 feet. Come on, come on. Some dragons are smaller than this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do some cool acrobatics if I may to like cartwheel handspring jump onto the top. I'm just yeah. like, so that's it. like it's okay. 
he doesn't have to like bend down for me. Aww. The only concern is uh, if you ride this for too long, you don't want to have a saddle for this. this no, it's going to be a comfortable well, thing. Hello, okay, we so. have a creationist. I'll, I'll no, not a creationist, that's a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They're definitely at the university <laughs> trying to <laughs> preach to the kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I'll use my creation magic to make a four person saddle that fits like the length of the. What? What's the size capacity that you can do? Uh, it has to be within five feet, I think, a five foot cube. Okay, okay. you'll be able so to get probably a seat for two. It'll be two. very tight. Oh, yeah. I can hop on someone's back, maybe. You, you, your you can like sit well. up in the. I can, the I can alternate between. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you could stand like. Yeah. Well, so be one person that's riding bareback. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, the I don't mind taking taking turns. I don't chafe. Could you? Um... <laughs> you cause the chafe. I cause the chafe. I you could make a. Um, I like that. You could make a swing off the antlers and just swing along. <laughs> a hammock. Or a yeah. hammock. Yeah. A hammock between the antlers. Oh I'll even so say cute. that there were like um, so like flowers and vines that are growing from this thing's horns. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That's beautiful. Like your horns. Mm. Yeah. I keep forgetting you don't look like a fairy, but like a, little, you are a little, terrifying wooden creature. Little wooden fairy. <laughs> <With> a horn. <laughs> yeah. yes. A horned wooden Tree fairy creature. Mm. Excellent. Killer. A horny. <laughs> hey, well, that's, that saved us some, you know, exhaustion. Yeah. So, oh, what about um, her daughter? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's mm. here. Oh, I'm Peggy. Why doesn't. Yeah, why don't they go on and I run? My well, walking she speed's only 40. Hang around the college. Dash. Get a bit of an education. We're not going. We're coming back, right? It's true. They yeah, might yeah. not want to dig up a body. She could be exploring her or their her sexuality. Place. Yeah. <laughs> this place is like literally. Go to a couple college. parties. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, this place is like two hours away, so uh, it's like yeah, so we we'll can just back. go there and go back. Like we're yeah. gonna be back in the evening. And we've got a sixty-foot walking speed. So. Yeah, Mommy's yeah, just we're, running we're an errand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just have to dig up a body. We gotta pick up the smokes. Just make sure that. Definitely be back. Get some milk. Later. Oh my gosh, can we please not forget to pick up Hazel? Oh my god. <laughs> that would be hilarious. She oh has god. been through enough trauma. <laughs> social, social services might step in. Oh, 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 haven't stepped in already. Uh, definitely this is why they're jumping. Right now. That's, that's, right now. That's the joke. <laughs> that's, that's the joke. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very good. Got a week too late. <laughs> <laughs> a murder too late. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so you guys hang out. Mark, dog, dog. Uh, H- Hazel will be <laughs> hanging around. Uh, let's roll to see what kind of people they're mingling with. Oh, um, oh here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Is it you rolling or me? Oh, oh, <laughs> what what, <laughs> what am I rolling? Roll me a D8. A D8? Yeah. That's a three. Three. Sorry, oh. that's yours. He was hanging out with the goth kids. Yay! Nice. That's not bad. So that's, that's all right. Like they're, they're the fine. best kids. Goth kids are the nicest. They're, yeah. they're, hanging, yeah. they're hanging out with the college spirits, the people that commune with the dead. <gasps> nice. Oh, Uncle D will be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Old Uncle D. Old Uncle D. Yeah, uh, yeah so they're She would have some first time experience. <laughs> That'll be amazing. She will. In fact, <laughs> she's like, hey, man, that I was, died. She's trying to get like, in contact with someone she I met died. while she was dead. Yeah. I come back and they're like, light as a Feathers to visit board. Yeah, feathers to visit board. Don't be saying the old words, witch. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel's hanging out with uh, a dwarf called Draven. A nice. dwarf as well. Hazel course, and Draven. Of course, it's called Draven. 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 Like, Dra- Dra- Love it. That's <laughs> my government it's, name. It's, it's it. not she like Draven is the name of the main character from the crow that we just watched. Oh, oh. is that she is <laughs> Oh, Fresh in the mind. <laughs> Watch that's some so very cool. obscure ideas. Right be called Lilith. Yeah. <laughs> that's the other name that's yep. on this list. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Hazel is hanging out with Draven, oh. the the goth kid. Love it. Um, who He's knows got like face paint out. for no reason, just because he feels like it. Draven just. <laughs> oh feels yeah. Like it. Yeah. Without a doubt. I just used to dress up like Kiss and go to school just for fun. Oh. Yeah. This person's all my friends are goths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can um, see that. So, you head into the town of Prosperity itself. And it's a moderately large town. This is probably one of the bigger establishments that you've 
come across in the uh, entirety of Bytopia. You know, you've had little mini settlements that have made up like a larger city-esque scenario. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the largest concentrated uh, area that you have found. Is it nice? Mm. Is it clean? Is it like... Yes, ish. ish. Um, it's very sort of old town York, if you've ever been up to yeah. York. Um, so everything is very like weird and uh, hobbled together, lots of like cobblestones. Edinburgh old town. Kind of like Edinburgh, yeah. Okay. Not as tall. Not as tall, no. <laughs> um, and it's a little bit grimy, it's such a large uh, place uh, that they probably don't have enough people that are doing the, the cleaning um, as there should be. It's not by any means like squalor. Hmm. Um, just look like your, your usual, you know, you've got a bit of trash here and there, and... Okay, usual city vibe. It's a little bit grimy. <laughs> Not as bad as Sigil. <laughs> okay. Nothing is just to a cool degree. Um, so, you, you're heading into Prosperity. Uh, are you just heading into, like, the cemetery? Straight I suppose so, yeah, if we know where the cemetery is, we'll ask around and see where it is. You're easily able to find the cemetery, so it's quite a large... Uh, place. You get the feeling that most people from the surrounding areas will end up here if they pass away. Um, it's quite a nice, it's very well kept. Um, you see sort of like four or five uh, people that are attending to the areas, you know, gardeners and uh, mm -hmm. people that are sort of making sure that all of the flowers are regularly cleared out, etc. and so on. Um, and uh, as you wander around, Let's see how long it takes for you to find these things. Give you an exact location. Yeah. Uh, roll me a. Roll me a D four. Oh. Somebody. Your body. Somebody. Three. It takes you three hours. Three. This is a huge cemetery. As oh. I said, like everyone in this half of Bytopia pretty much gets buried here. Yeah. Um, but eventually, you do manage to find uh, the grave. It's a very basic, simple. Um, headstone like a slab that's yeah. been placed there with the name engraved onto it um no dates wow oh. it's literally just a name uh, and a grave plot um it looks like it's been here a little while uh it's been tended to mm. uh, so it's not like it's overgrown or anything um but you don't have any flowers or anything on the grave Aww. well your folks didn't even know you were dead did they no they didn't know I was dead until they turned up alive again. Yeah. <laughs> you died? That really worked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one suffered. Yeah. No one suffered. Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, they were like, yeah, they were like, we don't know where he is. Because he just hasn't been writing. Yeah. 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 Six so. months though. Yeah. They probably they got a little bit worried, but. Both the dad the and the... <laughs> Maybe they're just still so trying to cover it up. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Something is weird. All right, so I suppose we dig up my corpse. Are you okay. You make us a show. It's not. Now we get started. Yeah, it's not my best day. There you go. I've had some weird days. We can take it in turns, I suppose. I'm gonna start digging. Okay. Um. It takes you a, a little while, you're digging by hand. Um, earth is kind of loose, it's not like heavily compacted. Mm. So it'll take a while to get through that first layer. Can we move yeah. five feet of dirt every five seconds. Yeah, you move five feet of dirt every six it's seconds. Definitely what the Undertaker does. <laughs> Body in. <laughs> Very um, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it takes you a little bit of time to. Uh, unearth a very simple looking coffin. Uh, again, no major adornments, it's literally uh, six pieces of wood hammered together. This can't be yours. It's, it's, it doesn't even uh, resemble. This is a garbage truck. I guess. An airplane. Yeah, I guess. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounded like a butt. I think it was yeah, both. Like I think it was corner. both at the same time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think it was. This can't be your coffin. No. Well. It's too. Uh, I know. Plain. I bet there's not even a body in there. 
To be fair, I don't well. think he had much of a choice in it. All right. That's true. So arrogant, well, uh, he probably thought he'd never die. Well, <laughs> my, my satchel. What? Fifty. Fifty gold pieces. Body or no body. I say there is a body in there. But is it yours? I say it's my body. In a state of in a state of decay. Hmm. Fifty gold pieces. Who's gonna take me out? I will take that bet. I do not think there's anybody in there at all. I think when we died here, our body like disintegrated and reformed itself. Fifty gold pieces. Alright. I'm gonna abstain because I'm I'm not very wealthy at the moment. But I kind of feel like there's gonna be nothing there. You're but team I'm not nothing? You're team nothing. I'm team nothing, but I, I, I can't afford to play. Come on, Spike. Revolutions cost money. <laughs> I will make no bets, but I'm curious to see whichever way it falls. All right. I wonder how D would bet. How, how, yeah. I don't know. He's got loads of money. He'd definitely bet. If you send like, a message in the last 24 hours, or the last, like, since we come up with this idea, I would, like, send him, like, a reply. A reply saying, you know, we're gonna dig up his body. Would they have sent a message in the last Literally those words. Like morning. no explanation, just say I'm we're, we're gonna dig up one in the morning one at night and just to keep track of what's up. <coughs> if that was yesterday you would have gone in like the my lecture my short and lecture notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will take the shovel and I'll go down into nothing and then go whoop make a drum. Okay. All right. Oh. Who's gonna do the honors? <laughs> Go, Spike. <laughs> there is no body. <gasps> yep. Hot damn it. Diggity damn. She <coughs> did a bet. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you well done, very baby. much. Drinks are on me tonight. <laughs> oh, I've never been nothing in the topic. So nothing upset. at all. Nothing at all. To not see my own mouldering corpse. I bet it, it would have be been good for the experience. Yeah, it would have been an experience, that's for sure. All we right. But we don't know why there's no body. We don't know if that's just because they yeah, like disappear. It, is that normal? Or is this because someone ha- has your body? Yeah. That's true. Like, we need to. You'd think, think if, know. if our body was like magically to disappear and reform down, you know, where we were, mm. um, River Sticks, you'd. Uh, you think that would happen like at the moment of death, not like once it's been buried. Let us ponder true. this while yeah, we true. rebury this body. This is technically still this a graveyard. Is an empty, bo- empty box. But this, there's no body here. Hmm. It's probably still good karma to clean up the mess we made. I'm thinking more of the fact that we might be accused of grave robbing. Oh yeah, there's no body, no crime. <laughs> we, they, they don't know that. That's true. <laughs> They're gonna ask us where the body is. Yeah. I know not... someone who got away with the crime <laughs> yeah. with that argument. I know a good lawyer. <laughs> no there is precedent. <laughs> wow. Everybody knows. Okay. All right. I'm uh, gonna need that shovel back if you don't mind. All right. <laughs> there you go. I am not have spell slots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a spell slot every time. It's a, it's free the first time, and then it's a level two spell slot. Oh Jesus! For each fuck. time afterwards, yeah. Oh, okay. It costs a lot. Like it's. Yeah. What's the you, thing you can, you can do no. all the time? The free, like, is there a cantrip or something that you can do? The creation thing. Mm. So I can do it once per day, yeah. free. Okay. Uh, but any time after That's that, it, it costs. Uh, I think it's a second level spell slot. Mm. Okay, fun. Yeah. See, you shouldn't have made that drum. Could have got that same effect with something else, friend. I oh, know, actually, hang on a minute. It's the drama. I'm gonna get the elk to come and just shove the earth hey, nice. in with like oh, with its horns, you know. Yeah. I'm definitely picturing a moose. Yeah, <laughs> it's not an elk in my head anymore. It's <laughs> definitely a big moose. moose. It's got big scoopy sort of antlers. <laughs> yeah. Scoopy. Hey, Rocky, what are we doing? <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, it's able to do a, a little bit of it. Uh, obviously, the, the fine parts is difficult, but it can get the bulk of the, the we, we can do the, the finer details, but just to save you a spell slot, at least. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, you're able to rebury it. 
Um, in terms of what you know about this phenomenon, um, there's not really much of uh, people setting a precedence for what's happened to you guys. Mm. Uh, you've asked Lucretia about this, and Lucretia has no idea what happens. Mm. Um, most people, when they go to Avernus, they stay in Avernus. Yeah. Did you ask the um, your mentor if um, there was a body to bury? Yeah, he said that they, they buried me, so I assume... Yeah. He, he probably would have mentioned if, like... But your body I, had disappeared. Yeah, I fell face first in porridge and then just disappeared. That's true. That's true. Weird. Yeah. I want to know who it did the autopsy. <laughs> What's an autopsy? <laughs> Sorry, I show you what. <laughs> yeah. no. Is that a TV show? No. <laughs> Yeah, but surely um, they said that they like suspected an investigation. They said that they suspected foul play. Probably so local investigation. Yeah. Somebody yeah. would have. Yeah. Yeah. Surely they would have checked you out. Maybe uh, we. I mean, you know. They would check me out all the time. Uh, Maybe we should ask around in Prosperity because if yeah, it came where's the here, sheriff in town? Yeah, there must be like a law enforcement sort of situation. Yeah. Probably worth asking while we're here. Yeah. Maybe that's. Do you know what? I just had an inkling. I like the idea of being a sheriff. Maybe one day when I settle down, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Find myself a nice little town. You're very law-abiding. Okay. Uh, for uh, brevity's sake, um, I, you go and find I like it. the local constabulary. And uh, basically, the verdict that they came up with is uh, one of the people at the college uh, did a detect poison spell onto the food and um, there <coughs> was poison in it. There was poison. So I was poisoned. Anything beyond that? Um, the person that they believed to be uh, the primary suspect, uh, and they only have him as a primary suspect because <coughs> the... Uh, they disappeared. Mm. Um, is uh, Nick. Chris Van Ran. Who basically now, was unseen after that incident took place. Now, did they disappear in a, like a mysterious fashion, or was it like they packed up their bags and left? Uh, and they. All of their stuff was gone. Okay, so it was seen that they left willingly. Who was, who was the name again? Uh, Nix. 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 As in darkness. Night. Next, what was his name? Alberati. Alberati. Yeah. Um, you got the description of them. Uh, they were a gnome. They had long golden hair. Uh, quite an endearing smile. Uh, relatively small ears. Uh, and they had one red eye and one blue eye. Ooh. So, they stand out. Hmm. Should be easy enough to find. Cool. Um, and they always smell quite pretty. What were their pronouns? Uh, female. She, her. Cool. No, long blonde hair, one red eye, one blue eye. Okay. Alright. Let's go and find some law and order. Did you wanna, did you ever track down your friends? Uh, no. I suppose I can find Did them you do after that? class. Today? Today, yeah. Alright. Okay. Have you picked out spells? What spells are you taking? The I've got a gazillion <laughs> uh, for rolling it to see which ones I can find. Uh, yeah, should we do that quickly? Whilst they start to. I assume you're heading back to town. This is anything you want to do? We're going into prosperity itself. Are to we? the sheriff? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that what we yeah, just, we found just found determined out? That that's what we just determined. All oh, that okay. stuff that's we what just I said. Everything. Oh, right, right. Quick, sorry. Just for a very brief, quick uh, yeah. sake, just to get things going. Yeah. Sorry, no worries. Uh, so, are you heading back to the Violet College? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. As they travel back, then what? Uh, what are we doing? Uh, what's? What would be the cost of flow to as well? Um, I would not be able to afford much. But I, I wrote down like seven. Okay. So. Oh. Let's have a quick 
down to three of them are important but the other four are four five okay cool uh we have Was there anything else you wanted to ask the sheriff? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. So in terms of learning spells, it is 50 gold pieces mm -hmm. per spell level and oh. two hours per spell level. I know that. <coughs> I just mean the, to buy the scrolls, you see? Oh, uh... To buy the spells themselves? The first level spells, um, they'll definitely have just in spell books that are stored in the area. Okay, so those are um, done. The second level spells, uh, let's say on top of that cost uh, of your traditional copying of spells, mm. uh, there'll be about 75 gold pieces for uh, uh, the spell. Each of, if, them. each of them. Second or third? Uh, second will be 75, third will be 150. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I've got. So should I name them and roll? Let's see if I find them or. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the first one is Fortune's Favor. Um, that's okay. the third level. Third level. So we'll set a DC of third level spells if you can find them as a 13 or lower. You're able to find them. Okay. 18, nope. Second one is Blur. It's also third level. Four. Four. Okay, you're able to find blood. Fly. Twenty. <laughs> oh. uh, mirror image is the same. Seventeen. No. So and then we got lemon's tiny hut. Okay, second level as far as yep. So it will be I a DC that was third as well. That was, that was third as well, yeah. isn't it? Lemon's, lemon's third. third. Oh, is that that's okay. twenty again. Natural twenty. Again. <laughs> Two natural twenty. Jesus. Was blown when we did, oh, when you need it to be low. Okay. So fail, 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 fail. Uh, I'll try one Bad more. Luck. I don't care about that one. I don't care about that one. But I'll try it. What's the name? Just in case. <laughs> Nine. Yes. Nine. Okay, so I got blur and what's your brain? And I'll pay 300 pounds okay. gold for that. Yep. And then plus. So at the moment, they're scrolls. If you take the time, it'll be six hours per spell and 150 gold. Yeah. So it's 300 plus 300 and 12 hours. Okay. 600 gold and 12 hours. All right, sounds good. That's me though. Okay, you got any seconds that you're going for, or do you not have the money for them? I don't give a fuck. Come on, seconds, seconds of shit. <laughs> I got a couple of ones, a few ones. Do you say like Ones you can find, yeah, yeah. you just copy them at your I base. The I, I pay the cost of copying them and that was it. Excellent. Um, cool. Nice. Nice one, thank you. No worries. So, uh, you head back to the college. Um, it, a couple of hours there, a couple of hours back, took you three hours, so it's probably coming into, assuming that you left nine, ten-ish in the morning. Um, yeah, that sounds about right for you. We don't want to wake up early. You'll be heading back at about four-ish, five-ish. Yeah. With the time that you spent in there. Was there anything else you wanted to do in prosperity? Look for anything, equipment, gear, objects, or anything? Um, I don't think so. No? Probably. Is there anyone that would buy a common poison reagent? Uh, yeah. How much can I set it for? Uh, <coughs> uh, I'll find it out in a second. Uh, is there anything else that... Nothing? No, I think I'm good. Okay. Um, I will find that second. So, as you head back to the college, uh, what's the plan for the rest of the evening? Uh, I'm going to try and find my two former associates, Ewan and Isaac. Okay. Uh, you are able to find them. Uh, it's in the evening, so you'll find them in the cafeteria as they're just having dinner. Do you want company for this? Or do you want to go a more personal visit? Um, I'm fine for company. Hmm? Unless you got something just to do. Agree. We'll just I'll leave Brady just stay with you. Oh yeah, actually. Uh, you can get uh, twelve gold pieces for your poison. I'm gonna go and get. Uh, if I see them there, I'm gonna go and get um, th 
three bowls of porridge. I'm going to take three bowls of porridge to the table. <laughs> Put one in front of me, one in front of each other. Um, and you get a very similar sort of like surprise look. Uh, these kids haven't heard that you're back in town. Um, so they're very... Uh, back in so town? Back from the dead. Back from the dead, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more than back in town. <laughs> Uh, that's why I mean that they, they have a big yeah. reaction. Um, that you're back from the dead, and uh, yeah. Ewan actually passes out. No. <laughs> oh my god, face first in the porridge. Uh, face first into the porridge. He always had a weak stomach. Pull him up. We don't <laughs> want another <laughs> bloody drowning. Uh, and then I'll pull him up and sort of wipe his face off with a uh, <laughs> cloth. Uh, what, what are you asking? Huh? I'm going to keep this very brief. I'm just, the more pain just more. say. Uh, just ask them how they've been. Just be very sort of braggadocious about my my own life, uh, and ask them particularly, what do you know about Nix? Okay. Uh, so and what do you know about my death and stuff like that? Uh, Obviously. In terms of what they know, uh, they were having breakfast with you, very much like you're having it now. Mm. Um, and you sort of uh, drop. Uh, into your porridge um, everything after that uh, was kept very very hush hush mm. um, they themselves uh, nobody has I mean assuming that you mention what you know or are you not letting on any information that you're aware of uh, I will I'll sort of hint at it I'll just say you know I'm, I'm think. I want to know where Nix is Nix okay. is a person of interest um, they haven't been told uh, what the cause of death was uh, they, you know, there were rumours that somebody did something, but that there's never any <coughs> solid uh, confirmation of cause of death. I'll like big it up like it's a grand conspiracy. You know, mm-hmm. um, because they didn't want to shock and surprise everyone. Yep. Um, and and the same thing is there were rumours that have been spreading around. This person fled, um, but nothing has been officially stated. Mm-hmm. It has been kept kind of under wraps not to cause any mass hysteria or anything uh, so as far as everyone's aware you just passed out and your heart had stopped and you sort of flopped into the thing um, in terms of uh, this individual this gnome mm-hmm. um, what they will tell you is for the first two years um, that you're in the same year as each other for the first two years uh absolutely no didn't even know about them whatever and then on the third year uh they sort of started to not necessarily weasel their way in but you know they worked their way into your group Mm -hmm. um and you spent some time together they weren't necessarily because you established foundation friends at the very beginning so they were kind of like an outlier friend uh, that you spend some time with every now and again yep um they they pretended to be in College of Law, uh, but were in fact a College of Whispers uh, student. Oh, can't trust them. Oh, wow. Um, which is kind of common. Part yeah. of learning to be a College of Whispers is passing Deception yourself and, off as yeah. a different college. Mm-hmm. Um, so officially, no one is in the College of Whispers. <laughs> officially, nobody's in the College of Whispers, but everyone in that college kind of mm. kind of knows mm. that there are people that are doing this. Yeah, uh, they but must... they never actually know who is who. Yeah, yeah. Um, which Do they all have classes together, or no? Uh, yeah. Well, so, from their understanding, the people who are in the College of Whispers tend to pick another college at the same time. Gotcha. And they're like almost like overachievers in some capacity mm. they do both <coughs> classes but on the sly yeah mm. um interesting it's all at night like all the college of whisper classes are at like midnight i yeah. love that that's cool um and during really the day cool. they're participating in all of the different other colleges their cover basically yes um and that's what they're taught to do is lead a double life manipulate love it exactly that is a, a part of it and the reason why they train it amongst all the others is so that they can do that college of whispers aren't necessarily inherently evil by their own practices um they can super 
they, they can be very important, very good people in certain communities. A lot of them go to Prime Material Planes mm. um, and not necessarily infiltrate uh, kingdoms and so on and so forth, but uh, they do definitely ingratiate themselves in different sort of monarch systems and to be like advisors and exactly like sometimes they do it intentionally for work mm. other times they'll kind of clue people in and they'll act as like an underground subterfuge network um which is why they're a very important part because a lot of the people who do do that earn a lot of money which they can then put back into the college themselves um and, and that's generally how the college is largely funded is a lot of the ex-students pay contributions to mm. the college itself to keep it going. Mm. Um, uh, they, they do get some other levels of funding, you know, students that apply, get accepted, they pay tuition fees and stuff like that, but it's all bolstered by donations mm. and stuff. And I imagine they use the student's ego to be like, oh yeah, it's always like, who's done the most donations this year? Well. Ugh. Pretty much. And that sort of facilitates. Well, Jeffrey, I earned over twenty thousand dollars. They last put the year. East Wing so. under my name this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a very cutthroat and competitive uh, situation, and they garner that into them because one of the ideas That's that they have cool. is that by promoting a competitive system, everyone strives to achieve and become the best, um, even if not everyone actually succeeds. Uh, again, <laughs> some people get put to the side. They very put down or someone like that yeah. and the most part they tend to leave relatively normalish lives um, you know some of them are quite happy with that it's the way of how things work it's not the best system but it's a system that works for keeping the college functional and all the students churning out um, so they were an individual that was within the College of Whispers they wouldn't known of this they had been told by Nick's themselves that they were a Whispers student Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, uh, they did not see them uh, the morning of your death. And then later on, they seem to have completely packed up and gone. The room is empty. The room was empty. Right. Avernus. That's bad business. Well. Thanks, chums. Maybe I'll be seeing you around. You coming back? Oh, I think I've learned all that I can, yeah. Your loss? I think it's more a loss for the college. Anyway, enjoy your studies. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll head off. Cool. Uh, is there anything else that you want to do for this day? Brush my hook. I'm gonna try and finish off the shield. The last two hours. Excellent. Uh, do you want to roll it for me? You can fly, so you can. Yeah, that's like, true. Do, 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 do. Ooh, no. Oof. That's uh, net dex plus proficiency. I believe so. Yes. Uh, no, no, the matter is nine. Nine. Uh, that is not a success. It is uh, ten. It's the DC for that. Uh, so that is a failure. Ouch. I believe that's two consecutive failures too. No, just one. No, just it's one. just, just, just one. one. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that's fine. <coughs> uh, so, if that's everything for the day, uh, we'll move on to the next day again. Uh, what is your plans going forward now? We should probably, if you're satisfied here, meet back up with the... Yeah, back to Sigil, and then... Think about what our next steps are. Have you done everything you wanted to do here? Have you? I think so. Yeah. What about you and your body? I do not relish the idea of climbing that spire. Especially if it's just going to be another empty casket. Especially if it's going to be another empty casket. Yeah. Especially if it's the reason why. <laughs> you know. That's true. Yeah. The less mountain climbing you do, the better, I think. Yeah. No more porridge for you either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've gone off it a little bit. You feel like you know yourself a bit better? I know who I was. Mm hmm. That's true. I suppose that makes me more confident that more I can. More confident? I can choose to be the person I am. 
and I know that I can decide how much of that I want to embrace or not. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess so. What about your, you don't have any desire to stay and finish out your degree? I mean, I know you don't necessarily need it or whatever, but just for completion's sake? After everything we've done, I can't imagine just sitting in a classroom, taking notes, going to going to lectures and, and doing exams. Okay, well, you must have learned all that cool stuff somewhere. Yeah. But I feel like I'm learning enough now. I've I've learned more in the the last four months than we have you know, in my last four years of college. So you mm-hmm. have hard enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> University of life. <laughs> <laughs> Plus we've got a uh, revolution to start. Mm-hmm. A uh, demon or demo- sorry, devilish father to to visit. Plenty of things to do. Busy, busy, busy. And a religion to boost. <laughs> yeah, a cult to start. A temple to build. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we did establish a shrine here. Did we? Did we? Did we? That's what we did. I think you built oh, it or something. At oh, one of the, the farm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like a small little thing. Yeah. Yeah, like a little. Maybe that's, that's the thing. Everywhere, yeah. every new place we go, I just make a little. Uh, make one here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah make one. Maybe I can get one of my couple of my new followers to help. Yeah. And appoint someone as like the local priest. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe the one who I emboldened, yeah. you know, gave the pep talk to, and tell them that they've got a really special job now. Okay. But you know. I don't have to like take over the fun. I want them to have fun as well. The one true faith. <laughs> Just be like my little my contact here, you know. Yeah. Do as much or as little as you feel like. Awesome. Like um, women go on to create. Yeah, if Spike uh, helps you yeah. build like a tiny little uh, <laughs> shrine, <laughs> the next uh, I'll say that yeah, you can do that, and the the words in the Aliki will be passed down through this student who will continue to try and pass on the concepts of Neoliki and their teachings. I love it. Excellent. Um, okay, I think that's everyone's decided they're heading back to Sigra, is that right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, in which case, uh, depending on how you travel, um, we can roll to see if you get the elk on specific days, it will take you about on foot. It will take you another about. Is there like a current beach service? This is a university. It is. I imagine if anywhere can. How do the here. kids get from <coughs> the portal to here? To the clubs in Prosperous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, from. From the university to like the portal to Sigil, like that's the only way to get out of Bytopia, right? It's one of the ways to get out of Bytopia. Okay. Um, there are a couple of other ways, but they tend to lead to other planes. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. There'll there'll be like a, a coaching a coach service system. Mm. Um. If you're going all the way back uh, to head into Sigil. Let's say the coach will cost. I mean, that out. Uh, what you get for your level up? Uh, extra attack and stunning strike. Nice. Stunning strike. Stunning. 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 <laughs> Absolutely stunning. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to. Uh, Point you to a funny post I made in general chat. Uh, if there is, let's say there's uh, ten gold pieces uh, per person, and that's full travel all the way. Okay. Does everyone have ten gold pieces? <coughs> we need ten for Lucretian. Ten each. Lucretian's not there. Oh, Lucretian's gone. Lucretian disappeared. We need ten for Hazel. Though. Slow burn. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we wait until like everyone's comfortable in the carriage, and then you know we just start to leave. No, and no, no, like no, that. no, 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 Hazel, <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, Kevin. 
Uh, <laughs> Hanging out with the girlfriends, uh, friends, no jumping off the no bed, sorry, the door. <laughs> yeah. I was having like a day to just be a kid. Do we want to do the couch? Have you got 10 gold? Yeah, yeah we can do this. Yeah. Well. Before we leave Prosperity or the university, mm-hmm. is there um, some kind of market place? Uh, yeah, well? you can get sort of general supplies. As I said, mm-hmm. Prosperity is a relatively large city in and of itself, <coughs> uh, compared to a lot of other places, so you'll be able to find most mundane stuff. Uh, if you're looking for something uh, magical or uh, specialized, uh, we'll have to roll to see if they have it there. Well, I just know that we are going to need to put something of value into the fountain in order to get from Bytopia to Sigil again. Hazel. <laughs> and I don't know if it's going to get consumed or not. Um, and I don't really want to give up any of the stuff that I have. So I was thinking I could, could go and find something to like buy. Like a keepsake. Value. Yeah. Um, so not like something super cheap, globe. but something that's... With the, the academy inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure, though, like whether the value needs to be sentimental or monetary. Uh, not sentimental. Okay. What's the minimum value then? Uh, it's with the intent of selling. So. Oh, buy something in order to sell it on. Mm-hmm. So Ideally, for like a little bit more than you bought it for. And that's the okay. idea of it. Uh, it's basically the Making concept of trade itself. Okay, okay, okay. Can we find like a wine merchant? Yeah, I was going to say, buy a bottle of wine or something like mm-hmm. that from one of the farmers along the way. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Okay. We can do um, that. So, we'll create a wine. We'll say if we're taking a coaching system, um, and in like one of those rest rest stops where like all the <laughs> services, yeah, <laughs> we just buy, we just buy pieces. Yeah, the farmers set up. Yeah, <laughs> you got their farmer shop. Yeah. Uh, we'll say you're able to get a um, decent bottle of wine that's about five silver pieces. You reckon you can probably get about a gold and a half, two gold for it. There you go. Yeah, we've got a of best in. Um, well, I was going to say. I'll sponsor that. <laughs> I've got over 500 gold. Do we want to... Do we want to... I've got the bottle for the gate. Do um, we want to do trades? The intention is to... Yeah. Can I... Yeah. I think I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy 500 gold worth of Jesus. non-perishable goods that I think I can flog for more. Like, just stuff along... The okay. way you know over the, the next sort of week or so that we're traveling. Yeah. Do you have any kind of idea on what kind of goods that you want them to buy? Just nothing that's going to go bad in the next, you know, week or two. Things like wine, cheese, like high level, um, truffles, artisanal or sort of f- like food products and. and that was like that. the cheese place uh, that you stopped in at. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, so like a big wheel of that. If you want to get the big wheel, well, that was about 500 gold. Okay. Um, I'll say you can probably sell it for double that in Sigil. All right. I'll buy the big wheel. If you spend all I need of to your come money back to this now. place with 2,000 gold. <laughs> Turn it into four. I will. It takes time, though. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah. it's getting there and back again is going to take you a few gonna do, back. I'm going to do the same and spend about 100 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's doubling their gold. I'm just there with my one bottle of yeah. wine. Like... I'm so poor. Do we need one each to go through? You just need something. I've no something idea. To sell. that you intend to sell. I think yeah. probably covered. Could be like a gold piece. Do I have to buy something for Hazel as well? My expense is a double because of Hazel. Bloody kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's one for everyone. So you're okay. Oh, so it's not yeah, one yeah. each? No. No. Fair enough. Okay. Um, since you're taking the time to go out and do this, um, I'll say, yeah. Whatever gold that you invest in now, um, Keep in mind that you'll be for the night in a sort of carriage system. Um, you'll be needing to find yourself food and stuff like that as well. Um, but any gold that you don't have to spend on, you're more than welcome to get some goods if you want to sell them. Uh, and I'll say that they'll go for about double the price that you're looking at cool. um, buying for. So you'll be able to kind of double whatever you have individually just keep in mind that you will need to get food for your nights that you are traveling we yeah. have rations we have a yeah. full week and a half of rations it will take about a week and a half if you travel by coach okay. cool yeah. so you use up all of your so rations so we use up all the rations so yeah. we don't need to 
spend any money and we can restock in Sickle. I think yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so it'll take about a week and a half for them to travel back. Uh, D, you have about a week and a half in Sickle. Shit. Um, I'll go to another shop that may have s- <laughs> spells. <laughs> this, so just before we move on from that, this guy with the big wheel of cheese, can I do a, a persuasion to try and talk him around to like telling me how do I sell this? Like, what's the selling points? <laughs> what's the, you know, it's got notes of It's nutty and, and yeah, aromatic. Yeah. And also, like, uh, does he know someone in town that's, like, his cheese guy that, like, he, oh yeah, that's going to give me a good price. So see if I can bump the price up. Um, roll me a persuasion check. We'll see what you can find. Sounds about right. Come on, baby. 10. 20. 20. Shh. That is a good I'll say you'll be able to get, oh. With the information they're able to impart, I'll say you'll be able to get an extra 150 gold pieces on top of that. Um, anything more than that, uh, you'll be struggling to find a uh, sufficient buyer for it in the market. Well, you'd have to actually go and find somebody. Yep, that's cool. All right. Water, also, I'm assuming we can refill at these farms. Water, you can definitely yep. refill. Also, yes. reminder to everyone, at level 5, your proficiency goes up to 3. Oh. So cool. Oh, so that means I would have gotten the success. Uh, yes. Oh, you won off. Yeah, I was, I was nine. It was nine out of ten. Nice. Oh, okay. Thank Excellent. you. Nice. Would that have, um... So now I have a shield, I guess. Well, hey. Should have automatically done it. Good job there. Do <laughs> yeah, do do I lose. <laughs> oh. Okay. AV. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I never. You lose HP. <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh? <laughs> I lose unarmored armor defense. Yeah. Does that? Yeah. Just uh, yeah. having a shield. Unless, yeah, yeah, unless you, uh, unless it's a specifically like a trained here. monk ah, weapon. Right. Oh, right. So yeah. I was looking at that. I'm the like, first of all, you're wearing no, no armor and not wielding a shield. Okay. Your AC equals ten plus your dexterity plus your wisdom. You need to do some like training so you feel like wave the shield. <laughs> that is the. Th- this is the plan. Yeah. We've discussed this. Oh, okay, right. If you. Ah. If he goes using the items, by the time whatever he wants to <coughs> have them comes around, um, they will be unencumbered by nice. But if like he does every combat between now and then, He's gonna anything have that they have will have to go God. through the system. Oh, that's amazing. This is going to be brutal. <laughs> so it will be my dex. So it will be 10 plus my dex plus a shield. Yes. So that's 17. That's still, that's still fine. That's, that's still really good. What's your AC normally? Uh, AC is 18 normally. Okay, so you lose one. That's, lose that's one. Not, cool. not too bad. Uh, you have a slightly higher AC actually for being a... Oh, yeah, I get plus one, don't I? Yes. So 19. I should have had no. 19. Yeah. Oh. Really? Dex is 5 plus 2, 17. Yeah, plus my wisdom as well, because um, so for an arm... For an arm, 10 plus dex plus whiz. But because you are using a shield, it wouldn't be unarmored. So no. for the minute, it's going to be eighteen. Cool. Easy. I was work. I was nerfing myself for no reason. Unless, <laughs> unless you use your spikes, in which case your AC goes down. Goes down, down by two. Cool. That's fascinating. Oh damn! You got a lot of shit going on with your AC. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> to think about. Yeah. It fluctuates a lot. Um, D. Wow. Yeah. A week and a half. Yeah. Spells. Are you looking for anything in particular? Do you have the money for any more? Uh, what, what's your plan here? You've got a week and a half. <laughs> do you want to work more? Get more money? How much time did I lose doing these spells? Like gargling babies uh, and, I don't know. I'll say it'll take you the day trying to rivers searching gold around and trying to find them. And then I don't know. What do rich people no, do? Right, That's right, what right. I imagine they're doing. <laughs> so I still have another week. Moderately yeah, you have money from week, the yeah. poor. <laughs> I would yeah. use yeah. three days trying to make some money. Set up trust fund. Three days <laughs> trying to find some more stuff. Okay, so uh, what kind of work are you looking to do? It looks like this big on my plate. Whatever. I'll take my clothes off if I have to. Whoa! <laughs> no, no one wants to see that. So so Someone, may want, to on. <laughs> Someone may want to see a spellcaster casting spells while nude. That could be a thing. Do, it's true. Me, do, do they want me to go and cast <coughs> like it's true. mage hand or <laughs> unseen servant? I'll like tell you that. what. Please, you can, this is a if you want to, <laughs> um, you can inquire into some work it's at the uh, the brothel of slaking intellectual lusts. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's a thing. That was yeah, a thing. that is a thing. And it's, it's not that it's, weird. It's sexy that spell maximizes casting. the income. It's sexy brains. So I don't. Brains. I'm not brains. afraid. <laughs> I have no shame. I have no shame. I'm not afraid. <laughs> yes, there's nothing to be ashamed of. The it's the, it's uh, fine. the, service, the like, prostitutes yeah. there uh, do not physically uh, serve their patrons. It's all about. I don't care. I, I, you're giving me. Uh, Bottom, it's the bottom play. line that matters. <laughs> bottom line, how much? Thinking like a true character. What you do? <laughs> irrelevant. Unless it's killing people or tricking them out of their money. Then I won't do it because law. That's fine. Because <laughs> um, I don't want to get arrested. Not again. More <laughs> not again. <laughs> do, doing this kind of work the same one. pays relatively well. Yeah. Um, it will, I say relatively well. Uh, you'll be looking at 10 gold pieces a day. Oof. Nah. But anything you're doing on an individual basis that isn't um, specifically work for like high paying patrons and stuff like that, uh, which involves an inherent level of risk, any mundane work, uh, that's probably going to be about the cap on it. 10 gold a day. I'd rather just sit down and do nothing. At this point. <laughs> this is what working a regular nine to five job does for tonight. you. Anything else is going to have to involve an element of danger for those high price points. Yeah. I know today's not bad. That like, is incredibly good. It's one, like gold, a week. one gold piece is like a week to a month salary for yeah. a regular person. I'm not a regular person. And you're doing a week and a half of work. What is this? It's still going to be like, what? We did. Oh, we like made 10, hundreds of gold on the road. Yeah, 100, 100 gold. gold. Yeah. That's because we were... That's because we were doing special spells for special Maybe farmers that needed yeah. special things. People that aren't trained in it, but Sigmar is dime a dozen almost for finding people invest. who are willing to do... Tell you what, fuck the money. Uh, I'm gonna three days. I will look for more spells. Three days. I will research where I can cast a spell or a scroll. Just chug away ten gold. Work. Yeah. Okay. The privilege. That's fine. Uh, Ooh, if great he... spells. We'll take a quick break. <coughs> okay. Oh, just, just a quick thing. If he sends a message, can I just suggest um, try and find out what happens when you die? <laughs> yeah. Or let's say like, dedicate like. A, one day. One day. I'll give you a day. Yeah. Just one day, day to see research. If, if while you're in the library. library. If anyone's ever like worked on this shit. So two days look for, uh, well, however long it takes to look, because may, I may find it quick, uh, to look for some, a place where I can cast this scroll that won't work. Mm -hmm. And then whatever time is left to research what? What happens Death. when you die? What happens to your body? What happens to your body when you're dying? It decays. No, no, and but you, that's and what you no, with other special conditions <laughs> you idiot okay. uh, we'll take a quick five minute break there and we'll be back in five minutes and uh, we'll resolve that and the travel for you guys uh, I'll say because you're going with a coaching system um, it will go by unhindered in this instance nice. um, and we'll come back and you guys will be arriving once I resolve uh, what Dee has been looking into so we'll be back in five minutes
thank you for waiting and welcome back. So, uh, in terms of the information that D was looking for, um, the locations that the spell scroll that you have that uh, will not work, um, you have the options of uh, Limbo, mm. Ease Guard. Wait, 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 so Limbo? Limbo, Ease Guard. Ease Guard. Um, and. Uh, Gehenna. Gehenna. As well as the central ring of the Outlands. Uh, the information that you're able to find regarding the Outlands, um, as you are further out from the central spire mm. of the Outlands, um, spells of ninth level do not work. As you travel closer towards uh, the central spire that Sigor is positioned on the top of, um, spell levels that are successful get decreased. So in the second ring around the Outlands, eighth don't work and ninth seventh sixth five fourth and then at the base of the spire no. magic does not work whether it be divine magic or whether it be arcane magic okay, there is no that. way that you can cast any spell and that is a very common place for very high-end deals to take place outside of single cool so no one gets fucked over so yeah essentially you know magical items do not work there is a complete no magic zone um, so that's at Central Spire is where like first level spells just cease to exist. That is also a place that it would not be able to cast that spell. Is there an easy way to get from Sigil to the base of the spire, or do you have to go like out to a, an, a like a gate town and there may be portals, in? yeah, dotted around <coughs> here and there, um, but they are quite heavily guarded secrets right. for that exact reason. <coughs> they don't want anyone to just walk up on whatever's going down there mm -hmm. um, but yeah there, there are definitely ways to get into like different rings you don't have to necessarily start out at a gate town the gate towns are just a very easy common places because a lot of people travel to and from them yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, but the places that go on the inner rings it is harder to get to those places mm -hmm. um, just because there are things that you can do in and around those areas yeah what level is the spell it's the first level spell so you're going to go right in. Yeah. <coughs> um, but it is tra traversable. Like, you can go from somewhere that you can find to head in if you want to. So, um, with regards to that, uh, the other pieces of information. So, you're able to actually find that out, information out in about a day. Okay. Uh, that kind of information is quite commonplace. Uh, if you go to the Fraternity of Order, uh, they are very well aware of that because they try and find ways around that kind of stuff. Uh, you can get things like spell keys, which allow you to override that. Spell what? Spell keys. Keys. And key. Okay. Yes. So, um, specific scores of magic are affected differently in different locations. Um, a spell key allows you to negate those restrictions. They are quite expensive to manufacture as a result, mm. uh, but the fraternity of water do make them. Um, but they do not give them out to free for the people who literally have to pay them because they're so expensive to make. Okay. Uh, but that's only if you want to override it. Obviously, in the case of what you learn once, he wants you to try and cast it in those areas and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so, the other piece of information that you're looking for, which is uh, what happens to bodies uh, when they pass. Yeah. Um, roll me an investigation check and I'll see how deep into this you can actually find information. Because it is not very common knowledge you're going to have to delve into some very old and very secretive tones. And I definitely don't want to go back to the but dustman. <laughs> since you're free, man. Since you we're can, in good terms, walk, yeah. that's a natural 18. Plus yeah. Investigation 22. 22. Okay, so 25 was the highest for you to be able to find out everything. Oh. Because it is a very difficult thing to I find out. I am not re-rolling that. <laughs> no, um, it was a good roll. So, in regards to a 22, um, what you are able to find out is that 
when people die and they get brought to their own planes, uh, to, to wherever they are. So people's beliefs and people's actions tend to determine where and what happens to their spirits. Mm. If they are very strong worshippers of a deity, um, a specific deity, then their soul, assuming they have done nothing to forfeit their control over their soul, their soul will traverse and create a new entity known as a petitioner in uh, that particular deity's realm. They do not adhere to a particular deity, but they adhere to a specific um, alignment concept. Mm -hmm. Then they will go to and be manifested as a petitioner in that plane of existence. So if you are a lawful good individual, odds are your soul is going to come back as a lantern archon in Mount, oh, uh, yeah. Mount Celestia. That's cool. If you are a uh, chaotic, I think it's good from the top of my head, chaotic neutral good, so that like cusp in between, um, and uh, particularly warriory, uh, you'll end up in Isgard. E lawful evil, Avernus, etc etc and if someone owns your soul if someone owns your soul then you will be defected to that location in terms of your soul whoever owns it okay um in terms of your body whenever people's spirits get re-manifested into locations normally the bodies remain mm. so it is weird that yours is the, not it's there. not there but you didn't have the 25, so I can't tell yeah. exactly what happens. My thought is, reading that, I didn't get the whole information, but D would have think, would have thought that, and I'd never read anything about this, this is just me, um, that because we have returned to the original, to the, to the realm of existence where the body originally originated from, perhaps there's like some sort of like um, thing that doesn't allow for like body a paradox to thingy. To, yeah, at the same time, two places. So, like saving of the old file. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That would be that would be the information I would pass across to you, but I'm not sure about. It. Fair enough. Cool. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Like w that is the thing that makes us a unique case, I suppose. So. Yeah, but I would tell you this when you arrive. Yep. Because I don't have enough te text. I don't have enough minutes. Summarizing yeah. <laughs> twenty-five <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you said you were looking for a couple of other spells. Well, the same ones, really, but in a different place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll do the same concept, so 13 or lower. Same spells? Same spells. Let's go! Um, uh, 11? 11 is less than the 13. Let's go! Yeah. So that's so again, fortune's what, favor. What you're doing here is you're getting the spell scrolls. Obviously, if you yeah. translate them, yeah. then the spell so scrolls magic is dissipated and it's in your book. Otherwise, you'll still have to scroll if you haven't converted it. So you could technically still start use it. cast them from the spell scroll. Fly. 12. Nice. <laughs> nice. Mirror image. Yep. Six. Six. Oh. This is the place. So you just took Lemon the Lemonstein hurt. 16. Oh. <laughs> Oh man! No one is safe. That's, That's it. I'm, I'm, I've given up on the other two because I don't give a fuck. I could have taken the lane this time. Yeah. Chose not to. All right, so I got team. Fortune's Favor, <laughs> Fly, <laughs> and Mirror, Imar. Just hit like Pat instead. Now, what does Fortune's Favor do? Yes. So that one. Well, I, I will check with you pretty. as well. If That's you're the reason. Allow it because yeah. it's, uh, That's the reason why I didn't. It's uh, it's indeed beyond because it's a critical role so spell. Okay. But it's basically, and I thought it would be what works for me because it's. Time and um, it's yeah, well it says uh, you you put luck into someone, <laughs> and it basically gives them a, a luck like just like uh, roll <laughs> for an hour. But I have to use so, so if they roll a natural one, they can reroll whatever they roll, they can reroll. Uh, no, it's not a luck of that kind. It gives them a advantage on the next roll. Like a roll of their choice. If they fail, they can choose to reroll it again. And it, if a creature. Attacks, they, they have to re-roll at disadvantage or something like that. But I'll, I'll read, I'll read the thing. But the thing about it is that it will eat up a uh, hundred gold pearl every time you cast it. Okay. So it, there is a cost to it. And it's a third level spell. So it's, it's, not. It, uh, it's a second level. Oh, but second level. but I'll, I'll send you the spell. Yeah, send me the detail. I'll confirm it. But then for the time be. being, yeah, you can make a note of that. Okay. Um, or I could just leave it as a scroll and as a one-time use. Then. 
Yeah, let me know either way and we'll, we'll, we'll work that out. All right. Um, awesome. So, after that, um, uh, all of that's done, your travel uh, is unhindered. Oh, nice. Um, as you're traveling with uh, a caravan that's specifically traversing for uh, from the school, you paid for it. Um, so I'll say that it goes by uh, uneventfully. Nice. Uh, you manage to get whatever it is investments wise that you're looking to do. Uh, you're able to he- hop through the portal, which is in the fountain. Yay. Um, you manage to travel out from Trade Gate uh, back to the portal to Sigil. Mm-hmm. And assuming with the sending, uh, you're able to come beep back beep together. Beep you'll, beep you'll, beep you'll navigate somewhere and get together. Yeah, we've got sending, so. Uh, so, uh, where <laughs> would you like to all meet? Well, this will be you getting back together for the first time. I'll be at the portal. Waiting. Yeah, with the nice. big sign that says. <laughs> with like a. Dickheads. F R E N S. Uh, and this is another Friends. point. As you're traveling to and from uh, the he market can't read, ward, but he can't write. Um, <laughs> every really time you are being accosted and searched, yeah. and that is still something that is ongoing. You are yeah. being constantly accosted every time you go into the market ward. Okay. Uh, the in-depths are still in full force, uh, and they're locked down. And the other thing you know is everything is very heavily surveillance in here now. Yeah. Um, the in-depths are basically like keeping a full-on lock on what goes on. They do not. There's not a single deal that's going on that somebody hasn't got a record of mm-hmm. in this Fair place. Enough. They've had time to mobilize and function now. What's what's like a dodgy deal? They what are they looking for? Um, a, they're looking for anyone that seems to be <coughs> undercover from uh, the Mercy Killers, uh, Harmonium. For the most part, Fraternity of Order, they have a little bit more leeway because they themselves aren't inherently aggressive by nature. Um, they're the kind of ones that do the rulings on the judge, but they are part of the wheel of justice. Mm-hmm. So they allow them, but they are kept on a very, very tight leash compared to other people. Like they'll have a guarded escort everywhere they go. The, okay. Anyone who's got multiple badges is like questioned, right? Exactly. Okay. Cool. Um, so, yeah, um, basically anyone that's donning the signs of the Mercy Killers are not allowed in. Mm. Yeesh. However, you are already in. What if I'm, you know, just happened to be there? <laughs> but you're not broadcasting what you're wearing. No, I not. I don't have my badge in my pocket, and I will produce it if asked. Um, but I'm not advertising it. It's fine. They are, as I said, they're keeping a very tight strict on anyone that comes in. So they're not specifically looking at people's badges, like on a stopping and checking at anyone that's in. However, anyone that is coming in to the market ward, um, they are being stopped. They are not being allowed in. So this is something that Dee would have observed and would be able to relay to you. If you leave the market ward and you have your Mercy Killers uh, badge with you, uh, you are not getting back in. Cool. I will sell all my goods. <laughs> On that first instance. Yeah, you, you can do that. That's not a problem. Um, that's just something to keep in mind. It is very heavily locked down in terms of trade now. Um, the Mercy Killers are getting their gear uh, specifically <coughs> and directly from the Doom Guard now. The Doom Guard hold the armory. So yo! Looking for weapons. Yo! Yo! Mercy Killer boy here! Um, <laughs> yeah! Give me some Doom Guard gear. <laughs> um, they themselves can we get out of your giving, arm. <laughs> yes. They're not giving up those weapons. But they do work on that, uh, on that they have a huge store in the armory of just regular and plus one and so on and so forth. Uh, and they're selling them to the Mercy Killers and to the Harmonium. They are not allowed in the market. What so independent traders? Not happening. They are going, and the Doom Guard is getting like all of the business from them. Um, there is another organization which is the Godsmen. Uh, they own the foundry and they manufacture things in the foundry including weapons and stuff like that they are for the most part providing the stuff that goes into the market ward right now normally the doom guard had like a kind of ad hoc thing where people could go and buy stuff in the doom guard and sell it on in the marketplace if they need to at the moment they're only able to get their weapons from the foundry um, and the god's men they aren't taking particular stances so they're still making for both sides 
Um, but that's the state of play uh, mm. with the time that you've been sort of gone in Bytopia. Um, everything has become quite systemized Can, now. Uh, feel the feel the strain. There is definitely a lot of tension between. <laughs> you Can factions. you taste it? There is a lot it's of thick. tension between all of the factions. We just need to do a little strategic murder before we leave. <laughs> Just, Everything just goes just crazy. yeah you know, like you know what happens when like adventuring parties go to like a kingdom and it's all lovely and peaceful and they're like where's the problems yeah. we're <laughs> gonna become the problems there's not a problem if there's no problem we will be the problem <laughs> yeah. oh there are a lot of if problems you can't see the problem then you're the problem <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um, so yeah that is the political state of Sigil at the moment things yeah. are very tense spicy. Um, and yeah, everything seems to be hanging on a knife edge. This sounds a bit dramatic. I think it's all fine. You've been um, having a great time. <laughs> bookshop to bookshop. But you that are only up for the first time in a few weeks. Hey. Uh, so now you are all together. You've You're stepped mad. through the portal. Uh, you see the welcoming committee of D. Here he is. <laughs> You You're live. alive. Hey, old friend. You are alive. I've been in a safe place the whole time. And you got invisible ball and chain around your ankle now? Nope. All sorted. Hmm. Uh, you do still have a uh, member of the in that is keeping a tight watch over you, just so you're aware. So you do have somebody that's there with you, and they are specifically there to watch over you. I got Dave. Yeah, Dave, Dave. I know. I'm just <laughs> yeah, reiterating yeah. that point. <laughs> Dave's around, but nothing more than that. And that's not oh, specifically right, for you being... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the market. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Mm. Well, Dave's are around. <laughs> yeah. All the. Ah, I see what things have that? gotten better since we left. Mm. Better, worse, to say. Feels a bit like I feel like my shoulder muscles are all tense for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, Tomb Guard is gone. They're off your back now. <laughs> Daddy issue is gone. That's good. Mm -hmm. Must feel good. We have so much to tell you. He's been yeah, busy. This is, I don't know why I chose that guy to be the bearer <laughs> of my messages. I don't know either, but it was entertaining. I thought maybe he'll be more succinct because there's a limit, but that what? was, succinct was, <laughs> you know, not the right word for you know, three <laughs> words. It conveyed everything that you needed to know. Of, of course. <laughs> well, how about we... Link's coffin was empty. <laughs> yeah. Did he tell oh. you that? Yeah, well... I have to tell you some stuff about that as well, because he asked me to do some research about why would the coffee be You didn't tell us that! Hmm. I thought he would fill you in when we got here. Why don't we go to a pub? Fill us in! Get a drink, and we'll all catch up. <laughs> and I would just tell you what Carl said in regards to how things work, yep. and where you would end, blah, 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 but also my own theory as to why, potentially, your bodies wouldn't be there either. <gasps> that is really interesting. That kind of makes sense, actually. Like, I suppose so. You can't have two links in the same place, otherwise the world would explode, kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Unless it's uh, you use a spell for that. I it think is, is one. incredibly curious, though. Because mm. I've always wondered whether our bodies were tied, or sorry, our souls were tied to our bodies. Mm hmm. In more, I suppose, in a physical sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this might be an answer to this, Oops, yeah. to this question. One thing, one thing I would like to say, though, is that. There are two options. With our death, either we are not very good people, or weren't very good people, and we ended up in uh, where we ended up, or someone owed, owed, did own our soul, and that's where it ended there. Well, we know that's probably the case for you, right? Yeah. You, you because I'm a lovely your, person. Your daughter's soul burden. Yeah, for your own. Um, we all know. Yeah, let's not talk about me. We know <laughs> we you're know. a DR. Yeah. So it's that's probably because you kept such a, good notes. <laughs> that's probably a decent for my theory. Yeah. I believe so. Still. And we know why you were there. <coughs> I'm a very desirable soul. Well, I mean, your dad. You can say that. Well, you know. I mean, there's there's that as well. But, which we should probably sort out at some point. Yeah. I see that uh, a we few weeks know. in rural Bytopia didn't uh, you know, I don't know. dim your shine. No, quite the opposite. As a matter of fact, 
Look at this cheese! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna get lots of money. Those are great investments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They never, they never depreciate. They only go up. You need yeah. them to mature. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew that was a joke in this one. So, I do need to get to the market and yeah. sell this too sweet. Have you been staying in the, the house? In, um, nah. The half? The blood I don't, house? I don't feel safe in that quarter of town on my own. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Ten gold a day is too rich for it. It is like not rich enough for him. It is like but I did catch up with the uh, lady, big lady. Oh, oh, how oh was the she? lady with the dogs. Mm, she was nice. She was the one that stopped the factions from coming after me. Fair enough. Wow. Yeah, makes sense. That Why? is so nice. That was very nice. In she fact, nice. we better have a little quest that she asked us to look into for her, and we kind of forgot. Oh, no, but I really? went. I went over there. And, uh, oh, good. oh, that's good. Then. That's there's, good. there's a Modron that wants us to cast a spell in a place where spells can't be cast. These bloody what? Modrons are everywhere. Also, my lawyer was a Modron. What? what? We met a Modron at the college. Yeah. They were the receptionist. I'll tell you about it. Were they square? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, ours was square too. They were, yeah. Did they try they were completely square in all regards. Did they try <laughs> and knock through you and kill you? No. Great. In fact, I will attribute. Six, 65 percent of the success <laughs> of me being free right now to the Mojo. Hashtag not all Seven, Mojo. 70 percent. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you got that all sorted. We were real worried about you, and <gasps> they were ch they started chasing us mm, after you, which I, I know was yeah, hilarious. Yeah. And then. Flash of genius. Yeah, we had this great idea. We created this whole decoy thing, and we paid these like local farmer people that looked like us to go in the two different directions, and then those guys ended up following them instead of us. It was great. I potentially wouldn't have had to do any of what I did then <laughs> to get them off your tail. They would have come back. <laughs> yeah. They they was, like, I think you they, needed to do that still, The, the so. detective is magically enchanted to find you. Well, yeah. yeah. It's not resolved, so... And yeah. I did have the chance to counter sue, which I decided not to. So, uh, oh, look at that! Wow. Growth. The high road. Growth, right? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Seems like a missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, I hope you didn't expect congratulations. But... No, no, no. All good. <coughs> anyway, I three direwolves. Oh, yeah, that oh. was. Oh! That was something. We nearly died. Two. Well, I nearly died. I, I only heard. got buried alive. Oh, oh, see. I, well, you not the details. As I said, oh, it was a, m a man of not many words, but... That's fine, I get it. You're not interested. Was it death, death? Or was it like, oh, you scratched me, death? Yeah, it was oh, just a scratch. Not great. And what the fuck is that that you're carrying? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I have a shield. So it this smells. <laughs> it's a little scary, isn't it? It smells a lot isn't better it? than it did. Trust me. Oh. The last like week with that he's been working on it has been trying let's just put it that way and a week on the road plus that yeah it's it should smell dry toad, yeah. should be yeah it should smell dried now <laughs> how are you doing a hazel uh, hazel i'm doing all right thank you <laughs> good well it's been a it's been a, f a funny few i made a friend oh hazel's a goth now. They're god. Yeah. <laughs> and Hazel's wearing the makeup, so... <laughs> She's got, like, black, like, going from the top down to the bottom. Just, yeah. like, little lines, like... Almost oh looks god, sort of like yeah. a... Black, black nail polish on. Like a, yeah. a cross between, yes. like, a goth and a viking. Yeah. Oh, so, that's a good, like, like, dark viking. <laughs> I was gonna ask, that dude turn into, like, a <laughs> an ancestral warrior. Yeah. We've been braiding each other's phase, hair. Mom. Like every couple of days on this the travel. <laughs> it's not a phase. <laughs> it's not a phase, mom. Well, I commend you for exactly. experimenting and trying to find yourself. Can't be easy. No, it's not. Very good. But I am who I am now. <laughs> this is me. This is you. Good to know. We should get, change you for the we world. should get you an axe. <laughs> Yeah, serious. I remember having the other shots alive. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the plan now that we're all unencumbered by... Have we... Have you seen Lucretia? It was with you? No, he... He's gone. Oh, no. He gone done. Yeah. Oof. He's been summoned. Yeah. So that's an issue. That's what I meant by 
that's something that we have to kind of so, deal with at some point. I'd like to say, I have several quests, personal and potentially very rewarding group ones. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> do you know that book that I was asked as an initiation task to join the fraternity of order? Oh yeah, you're like homework assignment. Yeah, mm -hmm. homework for a level one scribe position, whatever it is. It's a book that exists. There's only two of them. In Sego. Two in Sego. No, no. Two in all of the multiverse. What? <laughs> okay. You gotta be joking. So one of them, I found out, that is in the <laughs> in Arcanaloth Tower. Damn, they in did Gehenna, not play around. Right? Gehenna. And the other one is owned or cur currently in the possession of a certain he who is. He who is. <laughs> he also has a tower, apparently, that walks around on its own. Which doesn't uh. sound menacing at all. That sounds actually awesome. That is not the best of it, though. Oh. I was offered 10,000 gold. What? To go and <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this sounds like a death mission. <laughs> yeah. Only 10,000 total <laughs> that we can share between us. That's a lot of money. I like money. I like it. I like being alive more. I mean... That is quite a significant fund. <laughs> Very insight, that. <laughs> I just well, like... I just blindly believe him. Blindly believe him. I trust him. No, like, is, no one, is no one going for it? Come he, on. he rolled and I rolled a five. did bad. If I, I'm going to roll... Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so really bad at lying, but I'm, I'm gonna so roll bad at my, lies. my insight, and if I get that's a total of nine. Oh no! Oh oh! My insight is Don't plus five. Can I roll oh, well? yeah, if you I blindly believe doubt him. him. <laughs> I mean, I was actively not Spray. trying that's to. Six. I was actively trying to look like I was lying to see if anyone would say that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna like raise my my eyebrow. Okay. Uh, Are you sure they weren't just hazing you? I mean, this sounds like hazing, right? This, this sounds, what sounds like a significant task. I mean, maybe the people that have these books are nice. Maybe this is like a thing that they do all the time. It's I'll, like, go to the corner shop and you get a jar of rainbow paint and bring it back. It's like the guy at the corner shop knows. Like the chocolate I, I wouldn't teapot. expect your kind exactly. of locks yeah. to be nice people. No. This other wizard uh, guy yeah. that has a tower that walks... Who knows? Maybe he is feeling lonely and he would like to have a chat. But also, if someone's paying you ten thousand to retrieve it, mm. then it's obviously going to come with a bit of danger. Yeah, ten thousand. So, <laughs> <Some the moment. laughs> wow. The other quest for the lady. Um, oh yeah, Zadara, my Zanara, Zadara. 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 Bam! First time. <laughs> uh, there are a few places that I discovered. There, there may be more that allow us to, or don't allow us to cast magic. That okay. would be some okay. good places to do this. Uh, limbo is guard Gehenna or the central ring of Outland. Limbo? Yeah. Did you say limbo? Yeah, limbo. What's so special about it? Uh, I wouldn't mind taking a trip to limbo at some point. Well, that could be one. I need some. Or some if we want to break this book out of the, that, our <laughs> kind of tower is also two, Gehenna. So two birds, so. one trip. But, kind of like beating around the bush, uh -huh. you too. Have you found out all that you had to find out? I Is think there so. Are I there think any I've more skeletons to dig up? No. Well. No, no more literal ones, hopefully. Um, but I, I think there's, that's all I need from Vitopia at least. But I, I am chasing someone now that last scene heading into Avernus. Oh yeah, we, we think Link was murdered. Yeah. He oh. was poisoned. It he seems was like definitely murdered. It seems I like was poisoned. Oh, you'll never guess how he died. Oh, it's hilarious. Did it's you tell not him? that funny. Did you tell him? It's really funny. No. It's really good. Just guess. It's Just really try. good. Just anything. Whatever it is. He was in the toilet oh, as the poison kicked in. That's funny. Yeah. And he no. fell. That would have been better. And he was found in the toilet, pooped himself. That would have been better. Oh, uh, no. I don't you don't like... poop yourself in a toilet. You just poop. That's what a toilet's for. Yeah, yeah, but because you true. fell as you, as your bowels emptied. Anyway, I wasn't found in a toilet. But you probably pooped yourself anyway, because apparently that's what happens when you die. Mm. So you probably pooped no yourself at the like dinner that. table. He was oh. at the table. He was. Yeah. He went face first into his porridge. It right was the breakfast in front of table. Everybody. That is very on brand. 
You definitely run out with a with a bang. Well, I not enough more of a splash, splash, but uh, a splash. Yes, yeah, very good. More of a plop. A wet because plop. it was all covered up. They didn't want mm-hmm. to cause a panic, and so they mm-hmm. they just didn't let any of the students talk about it. And one of my former friends, who knows, associates at least, uh, fled that night and was last seen. The culprit in Avernus. Well. Potentially a culprit. Possibly. I mean, it's suspicious nonetheless. Mm. They, so, they were at the College of Whispers. Ah. Yeah. Just so you're aware, in terms of how they knew it was in Avernus, they did they a did high disc- level scry Yeah, spell. they did a scry. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Do you want to chase this person down? Or? I'd like to find out if I was murdered by this person. Mm. I can't let an injustice like that stand. <laughs> I bet you Deprive were, the world of... They were framed. That's why they ran. And actually, Maybe. it was your your partner, your girlfriend. Or, or my teacher, because I was learning too fast, and he was worried <laughs> that I was going to overtake her. Yeah. No, but he didn't have uh, a partner or girlfriend. Oh, uh-huh, I missed this. No? Well, nobody said anything about it. We asked Maybe it's in secret. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Mm. The question is, yeah. do, we we want, was rather popular. do we want to go into a Vernus where we could potentially be... Feels... Mm, well, I don't feel ready. Yet. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. <laughs> Furnace is one of those like hell dimensions, right? Mm. Yeah, too close to where we were. I probably never go back. There. Where's uh, my father? Is he in Avernus? Okay. Yeah. Let's, yeah. As soon as he said that, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Can we just? Bring I. The team? What about you? Acheron. Acheron. Yeah. You want to go to Acheron? What's there? Revolution. Resolution or revolution? I couldn't hear what you guys said. Both. <laughs> um, to be honest. Are you ready? We've been to where I'm from. We've been to where you're from. Yeah. We've been to where you're from. And we haven't been to where you're from, but we've been to where you spend quite a long time, yeah. right? So I think it's only fair. But again, it seems like we're getting into the, the wolves' den by going there. We definitely need to get prepared. We will need more and we will need information and a way to get in. And an army, right? The army can be adjusted on the fly. <coughs> well. You know what could buy an army is 10,000 gold. Yep, 10,000. Split by five. But I would be more than willing to gift my share of 10,000 to your army nice. fund. I what? feel like perhaps... That is so kind. Good insight. <laughs> you insight That doesn't seem right. He wants, he was, wants to donate all his share. Not all his. Well, you my, just said your my share, share of 10,000. 10, I said. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. And that's, a, that's a suspicious thing for you uh, to say. Um, it's true. All his money. He loves money. A share of 10,000, I said. But he did say it. And you intend it? I intend it. Yeah, that's because he's gonna get another ten thousand on the side. Yeah, but like, that's what I mean. That's suspicious. Yeah. More, to I can't me. remember how much it was. <laughs> another forty thousand. I can't remember how much it was. That's what's suspicious to me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. You can insight the specific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whether or not he's lying, there's definitely some subterfuge yeah. involved in this. Okay, okay. So there is. Well, that, that's you want, you... Me, want me an insight. Want me an insight. We'll see just how much. That is eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, there's definitely something, but you don't know what. Mm. Hi. Perhaps as a measure of our abilities. I yeah. feel throughout our adventures we have developed in body, in spirit, in mind. In mind. Um, <coughs> and as a way to measure ourselves, perhaps getting you into this group might be a marker. A way to bring some confidence in us. We, I have noticed that wherever we may go, and however legitimate it is, we still fear. We still think like we woke up back at the river. And yet I feel like years have been compressed into mere months. We have achieved great things, but it is 
difficult to look back because we have not given ourselves that moment. Our only time that this ever came about was in Mount Celestia. Mm. And that was before I, we did anything or, or our escape was significant, but we have done more than that since. Getting this book, getting you into that <coughs> group, placing you in somewhat of an influential position, it will all benefit us. And I feel it will test us. And afterwards, I say that we are ready for what is to come. Oh. And 10,000 gold would not go amiss. No, no, it wouldn't. 10,000 is a lot. Just, so, just 10,000. 10, sure. um, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. no, no, sorry, no, no, no. I keep talking over you. Uh, I was going to say, it would be the first thing that we do together that's for our new lives rather than chasing down our old ones. That is true. That's true. Yeah. Which would be kind of nice. That's totally up to you. If you want to go, let us go to your home world. We can do that. So that can wait. This tower and this person, I believe, currently resides in Arborea. Uh, near the portal, uh, near the gate town that leads to Arborea. Yeah. Let us stop chasing shadows. Let's go after something real. All right. We need to go figure out how we get to this place, mm -hmm. and then we're good to go. Cool. Okay. Um, Study session. <laughs> so, <coughs> what is uh, what is your plan for uh, the rest of this day? Um, I'll say it's sort of into the evening time. Um, so, what, what are you what are your plans get, for the get night? Get back to our to our boarded up home and clean yes. up. Uh, it's still there. <laughs> I definitely would like to go back to that area. I want to check in at the pubs and see if there's any letters for me. Um, I'm gonna spend some amount of money to get like windows. <laughs> 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 get windows and get proper furniture. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so stone. I want to sell the cheese wheel that I've got okay. and go to the uh, the fest hall, yep. Pacific fest hall, to give the, the stone to Anali. Okay. Did you measure him Did you record him that uh, Her father sent it. Because he oh, was, yeah. oh, was going to yeah. send her a letter, yeah, and yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. instead, That's why cool. don't you Let me actually uh, put you back in her good box. Mm. Cool. Okay. I think my stone is also full. And I would yeah, offer. Used so something. I need to hand mine and get in I would offer each of you, please, that we don't go into the wilds, and two sending spells. Well, well, there's two for all of you at the every day. So if you want to send a message to someone that's not here. Oh, me. Okay. How does that work? Magic. I would say that you've definitely used at least one of them to orchestrate when they were yeah. arriving back. So do we you have one today. Do you have to know the person? Uh, I need a very specific description or I need to know uh, the person. I would not remember them. Never mind. I think that's what it says. And I will check. you like books, don't you, Dave? Mm, I do. Maybe, <laughs> could you look up for me how to store mm. chaos from limbo because they have these jars at the <laughs> and he's doing that face again that he does every time he's got to do work have he, you noticed that he loves it like he a loves any minor it. inconvenience he's just like oh hell he's just putting it on <laughs> He's thinking, Go yeah, I, I can't wait to read these books. So, and I'll, I'll describe the jar and describe <laughs> describe any, like, sigils that I saw and yeah, stuff wait a like that. You say that this matter is, can you can force will it into whatever you want. I can, yes. You, I mean, not, not anyone. anyone? Just Te technically speaking, anyone could. You have proficiency in doing so because you're trained to do so. Not everyone can do it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> that's what you very, were saying. Very difficult. Yeah. Only I can do that. It's, it's, Only Link. Uh, you it's, have it's to have a very creative uh, mind. skill, and you have to concentrate <sighs> on it. 
so you will be using up your concentration in order to keep this thing into shape. I like this. Now we'll research this. Yeah. You get a big scoop of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, So I'm just making a couple of notes here. Um, So, uh, an early sensory stone. Mm Mm-hmm. How to store chaos energy. Uh, portal to Cape Town. Uh, Warrior Gate Town. I assume uh, Spike's going to do some at some point research into getting to Aqua. Yes. And also buying some uh, furniture some and windows. Oh, <laughs> du- <laughs> for du- the house. Double glazing and <laughs> double glazing. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, we're not, yeah, and double this glazing. Is, this is for like, you're gonna BNB this shit, right? This is gonna work. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're gonna we're we're gonna want to see how the now. other half live. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is there anything, Slumming it in sickle? Is there Stay anything here. else? So we've got furnishing, portal to Akron, uh portal to Arborea Gate Town, uh, Sensate Stone, uh, selling your Sensate Stone. I'm not assuming. selling it, just swapping it. Putting it so in. What are you doing, yeah, Alexander? I'm assuming it's kind of selling it. Oh, do I get money for that? Yeah, you get money for mean, donating you some uh, stones I to. Know. I thought I just got credit points. No, you get money. Keep for you can, they're very happy to take it to credit credit points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm assuming I can just go to the market and that. 1,150. Yeah, just, just do that. Cheese. Get now. your cheese. So any, <laughs> any goods that you bought, you can now sell for the, the price that I stated. Um, we've got that. I'm so, rich. your, yes? I also have more stuff I want to do. Yeah. Wanna you want to write it down? Yeah. I want to go to the, what was it called? The corpse place? The, the bar, Smoldering Smoldering bar. Smoldering, oh, the smoldering corpse, corpse bar. Yeah. Corpse bar. And check if there are any letters there or whatever and tip the bartender and tell him thanks and can you keep his eye out for any more letters? And then I also would like to try and call up Annie the Tout. See if she comes to me. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Annie the Tout. Okay, I've got a few things (laughs) that I can prep for next session. There's a lot on that list. It's the relatively uh, small condensed thing so that's not the end of the world um so you are going back to your house is house. that the hovel think, so, yes. yeah. <laughs> our place yeah. of residence we can do them in whatever order i think makes sense for the map and the time we have and yeah I well I, as i said it's, it's coming into your late whatever. evening yeah so, so unless you are planning on staying in a tavern i assume everyone's going back to the house yeah 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 yeah. Well, do you feel comfortable now? You got some more people yeah, with you. Yeah, you always need someone on watch in that place. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Like the windows mm-hmm. are boarded up, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, as you head back to uh, the house, um, you notice that uh, the door itself you've repaired. Uh, the windows are still sort of like patched over. Um, but as you head on in, things are a little bit tidier in the house. Bitch. Than what you left it. Did we do this? Is the door closed? We did not did we hire do this. Huh? Door was closed? I don't think door so. closed. Did we hire someone? No. I don't remember. Identify you? yourself! <coughs> you get no response. No one's here. Okay. Can I investigate and see what's... Yeah. Uh, Fingerprints! Wait! Can Let Kyle... Let get my, yeah. my kit up. Can Spike and Brady do like police people like, around <laughs> each door, like clear? clear, 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 clear. Yeah, open up. Just like holding your fist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just like <laughs> <laughs> clear. Um, <laughs> um, you go. You head into uh, the bedroom. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> oh. You see he's that he's like, go, go, go. there is a bag on the floor. What? I am. I am. I'm, I'm opening it. I turn uh, yeah, it upside down. I hold it. everyone back. Hold on Instantly. a second. Hold on. I'm doing it. <laughs> As you head in and you look uh, and ch- check out the D. bag, uh, you see that uh, on the inside of the bag is a note that says "Property of Rax." Oh my God! Uh, oh, Those Rax. That's the brother. Oh, oh yeah. He the ran away. Brother. He did it. And we will end the session there. Uh, nice. Now you gotta pick He's cleaned up. up. <laughs> I'm like, just keep him around. I'm like, that's my brothers. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this is private property. <laughs> Why are we getting more minions? I told him he could go. Oh no! You want an army? <laughs> now we got two party packs. We got kids all over the place. Fuck's sake! You don't have to kill. <laughs> we do. I mean, we literally had a pack of kids in uh, yeah. the basement. These are named kids. <laughs> named, yeah. These are named. They all had names. We named the kids. They had names. They didn't that have is. important names. Okay. I didn't. I didn't care Bell to the remember Bell. them. We got a Bell. hazel. We got a rack. What, what else have we got? One fingered. As soon as I found my wife, I got rid of her. <laughs> this is when you find out that she's like a 15th level wizard. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that would have been like. Oh shit. I mean, Solved. she could see Solved. <laughs> Solved. <laughs> Teleport. Shh. Oh, fuck. The, everything was done in two months. Done. So. Thank you for joining us at the Hodgepodge Tavern. We hope you enjoyed yourself today. Um, I believe we still have a couple of sessions before Kim and I go away. Um, yes, so two possibly. Potentially two, maybe one next session, depending on how we feel about our plans. <laughs> depending on how tired we are. Um, yeah. So we will be back uh, at that point. I would like to say thank you to uh, Pocket Bar for providing the music for us today. Thanks, Pocket Bar! And, uh, oh. I will do a quick experience uh, rundown. So in the chat, if you would like to vote for who you feel uh, is your favorite player of the session, uh, then uh, please do. Vote for me. I need XP. <laughs> I'm so far behind. And yeah, uh, they, would they would receive um, an experience point blip worth 120 experience points. Um, 200. 250 now. 250, 250 sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. So 250. 250. Yeah. Uh, so yes, please do vote. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of moments once I've done some tallying. <laughs> Goodbye.
Uh, thank you for waiting and welcome back. So, um, I would like to give everyone uh, 80 experience points uh, for putting up with my still having to try and split things and expedite things to get you all back together so that we can progress things Who a little bit. Who caused that? It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, 80 less for uh, for causing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm joking. D, it's D, not me. <laughs> <laughs> we take 80 of his experience points each. <laughs> it's what my character Ooh. would do. And I 100% appreciate it because I, I do like really it when the group fun. Yeah, no, it's it has been, been, been very fun. fun. It has been. It's Again, awesome. I wouldn't want to do it every session, but it's really fun. Yes. Um, and right. it's only, the only reason why I expedited it is because we were running out of things for D to do. So. <laughs> That's true. Um, There's only so many spells I can buy. There's only so you can buy. And even then, you kind of sidelined that. <laughs> uh, we did a load for the previous session, though, for you, so that's yeah, fine. Yeah, all good, all good. Um, so, I would like to distribute that. Um, I would also like to give an extra 50 uh, to Josh and Kim uh, for uh, oh, finding out potentially <laughs> what has happened ish to okay. their bodies. Insensitive. Oh, yeah. Well, don't just give me pity points because I'm behind. Pity points. Both of you would have found that. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to explore it because we were expediting what was going on. Okay. Uh, so I would like to just do that to you. Take the XP. Um, Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, second of all. See, I don't want pity points. I don't want this. No. <laughs> I'll this. Take, I'll take pity points. <laughs> <laughs> just they're, they're, not, they're not pity points. They are, you have found out. I'm not a proud man. About no, you, I'm <laughs> If we had to split things along, though. we might have gone in. But the if there are pity points, we will take them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so second of all, we will go down our blips. So the first one is a creative use of a spell or ability. Do you feel anyone encompassed that D. today? D, what'd you do? What'd you do? Sat on my all day. I'm just voting for D, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you using your bracelet in order to get an elf yeah. to yeah, yeah. make it easier that, for us to good. move. And, and, but you also made a saddle. Made a so saddle. Oh. Nah, I make stuff all the time. No, that was a, that was <laughs> I, I did a, a blossom yeah. victory lap for that's, my that was my good. new yeah, pants. Cool. I'm also, just saying. That's sick. I'm just saying. More, I like the establishing the cult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was yeah, cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're sowing the seeds. Very, very subtly. If everyone is in agreement, then uh, 250 for oh. Sprite for starting a cult. <laughs> Thank you. I'll <laughs> take it. Cool deal. Uh, I, I vote for Sprite for praying on the week. Next, <laughs> next up is the opposite of that. Something heroic, selfless, or furthering the party goal. Right, I remembered what we fucking needed to get through the gate. Yes. That's true. And What's without that? me, you would not have made money. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's very I, true. I hadn't considered that, so I think that is furthering the party goal. What were you going to vote for, though, before I just put myself up for I tribute? Know. I honestly didn't have anything for that. <laughs> I just wanted it to not be D. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even vote for myself then. <laughs> I know, but I was waiting for it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, everyone... he did do research for us. Oh, that's true. But... I was like, I was like the support unit at base. I was like, oh, <coughs> yes, sir. <laughs> You're generating money. Yeah. You're just like tech support. You tech will go support. unacknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's it's real. my life. Too real. Too real. my life. Oh, it's too too real. Real. It's my too life. I, I, I went to a funeral the other day and uh, caught up with all my IT buddies from when I first started Aww. and it still is that real. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Really sad actually, the guy whose funeral it was you used to work with, he was only like 32. He was 33 oh. and died like, in a stroke. <gasps> Shit. Oh it happened to anyone. I know. Jesus. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I get those wills sorted. Why yeah. did you do that actually? That's very sad. Adults. So, uh, so for Kim. For an agreement, yeah, it's like 250. For reals? I rating. literally put it out there as a bit of a joke. <laughs> I'm like 600 gold richer because of that. So no, yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. God damn, more. I had two grand, I could have turned <laughs> it to four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I get that 10 thank grand. You, thank you, and then thank go you. Back oh. Excellent. Um, a lot of cheese. A lot of oh, cheese. that's a lot of cheese. And finally, um, you flood the market and then the value just goes Break the uh, And then finally, intangibles. Anything you feel should get the knowledge uh, that doesn't sort of encompass. I would like to vote for Kyle. Yeah, I was gonna say. Because not only that, but I think I think Kyle in this not Kyle, but uh, what's his name again? Sprite. 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 Hashcard. Sprite. Hashcard. Whatever his name is. I was I think he should get a special feat called Inspiring Leader. Because that was a hell of a... Ask it, yeah. Also, uh, yeah. the music in the background with the oh my pocket, God, but like, it was like, very rousing. Like, we must stop being <laughs> in the like, shadows. Like, yeah. what the fuck? I was like, yeah. right, I think we can, <laughs> we can take hell! 
Let's go! Charge! Take an extra. <laughs> Charge out of the pub. Yeah, I was like, give me 10 HP, I need it. I ready to get up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y